Hello, welcome back everybody. Welcome to some Saints Rocket League action on this Sunday. My name is Theo, also known as the Holy Juan, and I'm joined by Dan Banner, also known as Mr. Danners. Yes, Dan, and today we're going to have some exciting Rocket League action from our Saint Varsity Green team. Mm -hmm. They're going to be looking to make a day two run in the upper bracket, and they're going up against Indian College in their first matchup. What do you think is going to happen in this first game? All right, so I'm expecting basically um, explosions out the back of our Indiana, uh, or excuse me, Indiana, Indian River State College has been a uh, team that we have actually gone up against in the past in past CRL qualifiers, and they are an absolutely tough squad back then as well. I expect nothing short and of that as well, and the fact that they've gone through this winner's bracket like pretty well uncontested, I'm looking for quite the battle, because with the way that they're playing and then the way that our Saints are playing, especially yesterday, they went up against some tough teams, but yet still looked extremely comfortable. Yeah, our Saints looked really good yesterday. Obviously, we watched them play the whole day. They didn't drop a single series. Won all the best of threes, all the best of fives to make it here into mm -hmm. day two. And uh, they're going to look to co continue their momentum. You know, all the players played well, played great together. And uh, yeah, hopefully they could continue to play the same way. Um, and maybe we'll get the bracket here shortly. Maybe we could look at, uh, you know, the bracket fully, you know, as mm. there's upper bracket, lower bracket. We're obviously in the upper bracket. We don't want to drop any series. As we can see, we got Indian Stay River under us. And uh, if, if we win, or if Indian Stay River win, mm. they're going to be playing the winner of GBSU Blue and Danport University. <laughs> yeah, there's still some killers here in this bracket. Of course, winners quarterfinals is where we're going to be starting off here today. And yeah, we either have Davenport, which is always a strong school, and I believe that is Grandview or Grand Valley. One of the two. Either either one of those schools are actually sick in, the, in their own right. So that is going to be interesting as we go along. Algonquin College, a little bit of a surprise, but they're on their way through this winner side quite nicely as well. ASU, I think it's Arizona State doing well as well and then Stockton we know Stockton in the past like CRL caliber team yep. and just something did not click at the beginning of the season for them and I know they were angry that they could not get themselves that CRL spot and they're here for to send a message and as I believe the first seed here in this entire tournament um, it will be interesting to see if they can make it through and maybe you see us later on in the winner's side yeah. but King's University as well do not sleep on them. We've had, well, not necessarily had our way, but we've definitely had the upper hands in our last couple of interactions. But they're one of those schools where if we're caught slipping, they will absolutely wreck us for it. Yeah, a lot of strong teams in this upper bracket, as expected. We're going to see our Saints try to get through all of them. You know, it's not going to be easy, but it's mm -hmm. going to be fun for sure. It's going to be a good day of Rocket League. We'll be right back with game one right after this break.
All right, Saints Nation, we're in the game. Game number one here versus uh, or Indiana. Or Indiana, I did it again. Indian River State College and St. Clair College Green. Of course, Saints going to be on the orange side. Try to get this one over, but we do have Taco Stash here on the side of Indian River alongside. Let's see, that Slayer. And where's the other one? We'll see in just a moment's time. But off the face off, lots of energy. It seems like everyone flying through, but nobody getting good opportunity just yet. Yeah, and uh, St. Clair gonna look to start hot again after such a hot day yesterday. Gonna be a demo here by Akimbo onto Vesh. But Taco Stash doesn't find anything. Akimbo's gonna control it towards the middle. Gonna look for a center. Nice touch by Taco, but Nitrix gonna be on the attack. Can he find anything? Slayer gets the 50 50 spoots. Gonna look for an aerial attack. Can he find anything? Finds a nice touch over the goal. He can't. Vesh find the finish. Oh. No, he cannot. The ball is still in a dangerous territory, but. Indian River College managed to get rid of it. Spoot with another aerial attack. Doesn't find too much with it as Slayer clears the ball. And uh, St. Clair gonna look to defend now. Nitrix goes up in the air for the challenge. Doesn't get a Vesh, finds it. Gonna look to take it up the right side. But Taco Sash doesn't want any of it. Gonna go for an aerial attack on himself. Doesn't find it right over the crossbar. Good save by Spoos. Akimbo gonna look for something. Doesn't find too much as Spoos has a nice chance with Slayer as the ball's going right in front of the net. Oh, Nitrix there with it a is. beautiful finish as St. Clair take the 1-0 lead. All right, just simple and makes it happen here off the backboard. A little bit of an awkward bounce here with the bow there with Vesh, but nicely there done by Nitrix to get their rate right before the defending side of Indian River State College and get some a nice, quick, and easy um, lead here in this one. Of course, still plenty of time on the clock, and I know that um, Indian River, they're going to have to keep their eye on, of course, Nitrix for finding these quick last second kind of plays. But I've also seen so far earlier in this matchup, like Vesh is just kind of hovering around that center, nearly finding these one on one opportunities. And we saw last, um, not last night, but last afternoon, yesterday, when we saw Vesh just juking everybody out. Yeah. It's a team game, but having so much threat onto one player is definitely going to be scary. As we see, Vesh going to line it up for Spoods and hopefully, actually, hang on a second, interception, good but a good save. save by Spoods. Yeah, good save by Spoods there. A bit of aerial misplays by St. Clair College, but they managed to get the ball back with Spoods in that back line. They're very solid. They're going to look for an attack of their own. 50-50 towards the middle. Taco Stash gets a nice touch down the sideline. Can he find the cross through the middle? Yes, he does, but Spoods is there yet again. Doesn't want anything to go inside the goal of St. Clair. Nitrix is going to be on battle here with Akimbo on the side, but Vesh finds the ball in the air yet again. Wins the 50-50, and uh, it's going to be Spoods on this side with Nitrix trying to win this 1v2 battle. Can Spoods control it? No, he gets bumped out of the way, I believe. Taco Stash doesn't manage to find anything, though, as Vesh is there to have Spoods back. Comes. It's going to be an attack. Oh. Good defense by Slayer. Doesn't let anything go past him, but Nitrix in the corner fighting for it. It's a dangerous ball in the middle of the net, but Spoods is able there to clear it. Nitrix going to hit it out the air. Going to go for an ale attack. It's 50-50. Good defense by Akimbo, but it's still a dangerous area. Taco Stash managed to get hit it away and uh, it's going back towards the center of the field. Spoods gets a nice touch to the right flank but Taco Stash is going to have easy control of the ball here. Hits it away pretty far. Nitrix is going to look for an attack here. Can he find the pass off the back wall? No he does not. It gets intercepted as Vesh going to go for an aerial attack yet again. Nice touch there but Slayer is there. Is anyone to follow up? Vesh puts it back to Nitrix. Hits it up in the air. Can Spoods find the finish here? No he cannot. Taco Stash is going to be able to clear it out. Good save by Vesh out of the air, but it's still in a dangerous area. Could be on target. Spoots hits it away. Nitrix going to look for clearances of his own. Akimbo does not find it. Does not find the recenter as Nitrix is able to clear the ball. Vesh going for a 50-50, but Slayer is there. It's still in a dangerous area for St. Clair, but they cannot find anything. Nitrix going to go up this wall. Going to try and find something. Doesn't find too much, but it's a 1-0 game. 1 minute 20 left. What are we thinking, Danners? Okay, so far Saints, sure they got the lead, but it's not necessarily a comfortable position. Uh, IRSC has not necessarily got themselves that great opportunity. This could be the one, though. Taco Stash going to fire this up right there to Kimbo. Knocks it down. It's on the line. Oh. And he is going to be able to put it on through. Unfortunately, there for the Saints defense. Could not hang on to it. And a beautiful little play there. Taco Stash lining this one up. And then Spoods could not get the additional hit on top of it. And that is going to tie this one up at one apiece. Beautifully done there from the side of Indian River State College. Just over a minute left to go here into this one. Yeah, as uh, St. Clair going to try and get that goal back. You know, one minute left. Not a good time to give one up. Oh, Fesh my. finds a one-on-one -on -one save on the oh. line by Nitrix is there to follow up. St. Clair lose the lead for a couple of seconds. But right off kickoff, it seems like they find a nice touch by Vesh. Forces two goalkeepers. And then Nitrix is there yet again for yeah. the nice finish. 2-1 for St. Clair. 
They're gonna look for another hot start, maybe off the kickoff, maybe try and find another quick goal, but they just need one more minute to hold on and take this first game. Uh -oh. Kimball with a one-on-one, -on -one, though. Vesh is there for the defense. Good save by Vesh as Spoots is gonna be able to take the ball up the right side. St. Clair don't necessarily need a goal, but they do want one as Vesh is going for it. Doesn't find it. Stocko Stash is gonna be able to control it, but Nitrix is having none of it. Slayer tries to get the ball way up the field there. Kimbo in the air with nice control. Can he find the pass towards the middle? No, Vesh is there to clear it out. And nice mid air contest, but Spoods is there to hit it out of danger. And now it's an attack for St. Clair. Can Vesh nice. find the finish? Absolutely beautiful mid air movement by Vesh and a nice pass from Spoods. Saints take a 3 1 lead and take a commanding lead in this game one. Yeah, the defense from Spoods was able to line that one up there for Vesh to get that tiny little redirection to put the Saints up now by two. 30 seconds. IRSC now really have the, the heat in the seat, so to speak, as they are in some trouble here in game number one. Of course, all these matches oh, best of fives. And how about another one? Vesh is going to get himself on the board again for his second goal of the game after a nice setup from Spoods. Yeah, and that's most likely going to be this game one in the books. 30 seconds to score three goals is quite a challenge and with St. Clair as well playing very high, very high level, making it very hard for Indian River Co State College to do anything, but they might get a shot on target, they oh. cannot find it. There's Vesh with the demo, Spoods in this corner, wins yet another aerial battle, but Slayer puts a shot on target, Vesh is able to clear it off, and with 10 seconds, it's just going to be a countdown until the clock runs out as there's another chance by Indian River. Maybe they can get a consolation goal, but Spoods is having none of it, and uh, as soon as this ball touches the ground, it is going to be the game. A good first game by St. Clair to start their upper bracket run. Yeah, offensively and defensively, everything was clicking that time. And off that last face off there, that could have actually gotten things started for um, IRSC if they had managed to not get uh, Taco Stash demoed. Yeah. So they had a little bit of a breakaway, but good on the Saints defense. I think you said it was Vesh that like took them out in that regard. Any sort of momentum they had off that face off to try and pull the like unbelievable comeback got yeah. immediately shut down so saints after a solid game number one sitting pretty sitting in the driver's seat here but of course still lots of rock league left to go in this one yeah and you could see they're very calm very cool very collected you know they know that it's not just oh yes let's go we won the map you need really they want to win this whole tournament so they're going to be fighting hard every single game they want to stay focused as i said and we are underway in game two St. Clair College against Indian Electrovis State College. Let's see what we can find. Akimbo looking for the mid-air battle as it's a pretty calm kickoff, but there's a shot on target possibly. Spoods is there to hit it away as he's going to be going up this right flag against Taco Stash. Finds the pass towards the middle to himself. Is Vesh there for the finish? Slayer with the save, but Nitrix is there yet again. Does not find too much. Vesh going to look for a pass off the wall. Slayer takes him out and Indian River State College is able to take control of the ball, but Nitrix takes out Akimbo as Vesh is going to look for another aerial attack with Taco Stash is there this time. Akimbo coming in for the air. There's nobody there for St. Clair. It's a dangerous wow. save by Spoods. He decides to take his time and not get there early, and Indian River State College take a quick 1-0 lead. I don't think he had the boost for that one. I think it was Vesh that picked it up, and then Spoods was the last one alive in that section. All you had were your jumps, and that doesn't necessarily give you as much impact to make those saves. So honestly, good on IRSC to make this uh, play happen. Put themselves in the driver's seat, force the Saints to make a move now. Yeah, and that's just one tiny mistake against a good Rocket League team. We'll, we'll give them a goal, and that's what we saw right there. But St. Clair, you know, it's just the start of the game. We've seen they could score four goals last game. I don't see why they can't do it again as they're on the offensive. Talco Stash gonna go for a 50-50 ball in the middle. Spoods misses it in the air. Nitrix gonna have a one-on-one -on -one defense here as he Good gets save. the save. Rebound Talco up. Stash is there, but Spoods is there. Oh, dangerous play by Spoods. Gets it out the way though. Talco Stash still on the offensive. Gonna look for a pass in the middle, but Nitrix is having none of it. Spoods and Nitrix both in that corner. Gonna try and get control of the ball. Nice nice touch by Nitrix. Takes it around a Kimball, but he has no boost. So Slay's just gonna clear it, and he's gonna have a shot maybe on target here. No, it's not. It's saved away by Vesh. Don't want it bouncing off that back wall. If you see, it's so dangerous when the ball drops in the middle. But Saints are able to clear it. It's a dangerous pass towards the middle by Slayer, but not being found by St. Clair. Taco Stash gonna look for an attack as Indian River State College are looking way more dominant in this game too. They're putting a lot of pressure on St. Clair and St. Clair just can't deal with it. But as I say, that shot That's on close. target by Spoods, good save by Slayer. It's gonna come back to Spoods. Can he find anything right here? Finds the pass to Vesh. Vesh is gonna look for a pass back Ooh. to the middle. Oh, they messed it up just a little bit, a bit of miscommunication, but it was a good idea for the Saints. Nitrix 
perfect, goes up for a 50-50 ball. That's a shot off target by Indian River State College. Besh gonna look for this challenge on Taco Man, but does not find it. Spoots is there yet again. And uh, what do you think, Dan? What does St. Clair need to bring it back in this game too? I mean, just need to settle down for a second. It looks like they have so many ideas in mind in terms of how to make this breakout happen, but it might have been getting a little bit too fancy. This might be the time though. Vesh, oh, Taco Sash was actually immediately on top of that one. So good defense on the side of Indian River. But nice little demo, gonna stop any sort of additional offense. Spoots had that ball going around, but now Akimbo putting it towards center, just trying to get this thing cleared out. But Vesh is gonna deny that this time by. Oh, Back off to Nitrix. Nitrix doubles, oh, not gonna quite seal the deal though Slayer was right there to stop that one. Can Vesh keep this pressure on? Does put it in the, the zone, only for Slayer to knock this thing immediately right back forward. Dangerously flying through the crease there, but Kimbo could not quite find that impact and angle of some sort onto that one. So it's just gonna be a little bit of a loose ball through the center with the Saints in control for the time being. Yeah, this last minute, the Saints have turned it up a little bit. A couple of shots on target there, but not able to find a goal as Slayer's going to be flying through the air. Going to look for a pass off the backboard, but Nitrix is there to st stop it out. Vesh finds yes, another demo on Taco Stash. As the ball is right from the Saints' goal, but Spoos is there to clear it out. It's going to get a nice little touch, but it's blocked out in the air. Taco Stash going to go for a challenge in the air, trying to get it in that corner, but Spoos is there to block it out. As a Nitrix is there to block it out as well. Akimbo in the air finds it. Vesh going to look for a pass up the field, but misses Ball's the ball. Loose. Slayer shot on target. Ooh. What a save by Spoos off the crossbar, but it's not done with yet as the ball's oh. off the crossbar yet again by Taco Stash. And Ringin River almost scored by St. Clair. Get away with it there. And they're still in this game. One minute, 20 seconds left. Saints need to find a goal. They need to find something. They're getting the pressure put on them as Spoos going to look for a battle here in midair. Doesn't find anything. Vesh with a nice shot on target. And it's saved right off oh. the line by Slayer as there was a bump on Nitrix on the goalkeeper. But two goalkeepers, you can only send one player at a time. Spoos in the air. Gonna try and find something. One minute remaining. Nitrix and Slayer take each other out. Taco Stash is there for this challenge. Vesh doesn't find too much with that, and the ball's gonna be in the St. Clair territory. They need to get the ball up the field. They need to get this goal to tie it up and send it to overtime. Spoos is there for the save. Finds Vesh in the air. Gonna fly through. Gonna look for maybe a shot on target here. Danger level for Indian oh. Clash, but does not find too much. The ball is still here, though. Vesh maybe can find another pass off the backboard. Can Nitrix hit the backflip? Spoos oh. is there, but it's a save by Slayer. And so close, yet so far for St. Clair. The ball needs to be in the net. 30 seconds remaining. Vesh gonna look for a flying attack. I don't see any defenders on the side of Indian River College. Can go? Vesh find the 1v1? Oh. oh, what a save by Taco Stash. Spoods is there, he's gonna try and pass it back in. Can Vesh find it? No, I Kimbo finds the defense. 15 seconds left. St. Clair still got the chance on this attack, but they need a quick reset. 10 seconds left. Cannot let the ball drop to the ground now. Spoods in the air. Vesh gonna take it up the right side, beats his defender. Can he find a good cross into the middle? He needs to keep it in the air now. Saints cannot let this ball drop as Spoods looks for it, but it hits the ground and it is 1-1. All right, so just the perfect start essentially there for IRSC, and they've been able to just hang on to that. A one-goal lead is never a comfortable one, but to be fair, they've limited all of Saints' opportunities. The demos were a little bit more frequent in the beginning, and then you can tell the Saints knew they needed something. They were pushing to try and get themselves some sort of breakout play. However, maybe overthought it a little bit, and the best chances that we did see from them in that game two were these scrappy ones just kind of crashing the net, trying to get the bumps. We've seen Spoos, we've seen Nitrix all like maybe taking a quick shot off at the at the goaltender, trying to make those plays that we know they love to do. And it was close, did not end up working out this time, but of course that's the magic of best of five. You got another opportunity here. Yeah, hopefully they can learn from their mistakes in the last game and play a little bit better this game as Indian River is gonna have the start with the ball. Vesh finds a good challenge in the air and if Slayer misses this, it would be a goal, but Taco Stash takes out Vesh Slayer on the offensive. Doesn't find too much with it as Nitrix manages to clear it out. Is he going to find a pass off the back wall? There's nobody there to follow up as Taco Stash flies over the ball. Vesh and Akimbo go for a 50-50. Akimbo's up there, centers it, but Spoos is having none of it. He clears it. Taco Stash going to look for a shot. It could be on target, but it's a good save by Vesh. Ooh. Doesn't let anything get near that goal. Spoos finds a challenge in the air. Taco Stash flying through the air, and Vesh wins the 50-50. Nitrix as well in there in the action slayer. And Nitrix 50-50 ball, and the ball's going to be on the side of Indian River State College. Can Spoots find this challenge over here on the side? Vesh got his back, wins it for him, and Vesh is going to have control here. Nitrix maybe can find it. Spoots is going to get a nice take nice. over the defender. Oh. Slayer is there to clear it out. Hey, St. Clair have the ball possession pretty well right now. They're 
They're able to find the chances, but just can't get it in the net. Taco Stash now on the attack. Demo by Nitrix for the Slayer, so they didn't have that central attacker to finish up that, ch that chance. But Slayer's back right here. Vesh with a oh. shot on target. Nice little 50-50 ball, and they'll take the lead. They're loving that one. I mean, it may have been the 50, but that just pinched right off the nose, and it went directly into the left-hand side. What a bullet there from the Saints, from Vesh to be able to secure that one, and finally getting a little bit of momentum back into the corner of St. Clair. They've been were struggling all through game number two to get on the board. Now they have gotten that little bit of a curse kind of broken here, as we now see Vesh looking to start off the offense here for the Saints. A little bit of a loose ball here in center field. But Spoods is not going to get the 50 to go his way. Just going to be back into the defensive zone here for the Saints. Taco Stash is there. Could not quite make a play out of it, however. So it shall just be kind of cleared out in the meantime. With Slayer in control for the time being. But Saints looking to make an offensive opportunity out of this. Yeah, and it's uh, St. Clair with the early lead now. They're, they're going to try and hold on. But Slayer finds the demo in midfield. So it forces Spoods and Vesh to drop back immediately. Now... Indian River State College looking for an attack, but Nitrix just clears it out nicely, finds the attack, but Taco Stash is there to counteract it. And we're gonna see Vesh go for 50 here as he finds the ball in the air, takes it past Taco Stash, but he's not he doesn't let it go by. Spoods with a nice center, but it's a save by Slayer. Taco Stash gonna be on the ceiling now. Gonna find a nice touch toward Akimbo. It's looking dangerous for St. Clair, but Spoods is there yet again on the defensive, not letting anything get by him. And it's going to be touched towards the middle. It's a shot by Slayer over to Akimbo. Can he find the redirect towards the middle? Yes, he does. It's a beautiful play wow. by Indian River State College. And Taco Stash makes it 1-1. All right, so with just about half the game left to go here, that's going to be Taco Stash getting the squad of IRSC on the board here. Another nice pick of the corner after that pass from Akimbo. Beautifully done in that regard. Now the pressure is on for both sides here. Face-off is going to be huge, especially if they can get a quick breakout off of this. Oh, Vesh demo. had the right idea. I got the demo immediately, but this ball is flying directly into the Saints zone. And there is some players on IRSC in pursuit. There's going to be Akimbo again in the corner where that last pass kind of happens, but was not able to find Taco Stash this time. Vesh now up to the sky. He's going to go wide this time by, but it is going to be right there for Nitrix. It's up in the skies. Taco Stash made one save, but can Spoos knock oh, this one through? Geez. Barely not going to happen this time. Nitrix in the corner, unfortunately going to end up losing this one to Akimbo, and now maybe IRSC has a chance to breathe and make a break out of their own. But Spoods, Spoods is always there, he finds the counter, he stops the attack, and the Taco Stash right, brings it up, but Vesh is going to take it to the air, it's going to go for a f nice challenge on Slayer that takes it by, but Akimbo is nice, nice cool con collected there, does not even go by. Nitrix is going to look for a center, but Taco Stash is there to clear it out as the ball is in dangerous territory for Indian River State College. Can't can St. Clair find anything? No, they cannot as of right now. Tr Nitrix is going to go for a challenge with Taco Stash, but doesn't get the best of that. Vesh looks for a shot on target, but doesn't find it. The ball is still in the danger area for St. Clair. Can they find anything? Good touch by Nitrix. Spoods is going to be there. Can he center it to Vesh? Oh, oh good save by, by Kimbo yet again. No one's St. Clair home. have nobody in net, but the ball oh. is off target. Very lucky break there for St. Clair, but we'll take him. Vesh with a nice pass to Nitrix. Can he find anything? Taco Stash on the clearance as a uh, game is slowing down a little bit. Yeah, and we are back. Akimbo with the aerial challenge. Nitrix right above the net of Indian River State College. And St. Clair is going to have a nice attack here. Vesh going to look for it. Spoods going to look for the pass to Vesh. Vesh is going to fake it. Nice save by Taco Man to see that coming. It was a good, good attempt, but now it's a shot on target by Taco Stash. He gets it saved away by Vesh and St. Clair. We have one more minute to close this one out as they have the ball in their own half now. Slayer with a nice recenter, but it's a good defense by Nitrix. Oh, it's a dangerous recenter, but there's nobody there from the side of Indian River State College. As Spoods going to be on the counterattack. Doesn't manage to be his defender, but Vesh is there. Vesh going to go for the aerial 50 50. Gets it by him, but is Nitrix there to follow up? No, it's a good save by Akimbo. And it's going to be in the control of Slayer now. He's going to look for a counter. Can he find anything himself? Nice little touch, but doesn't find the recenter. Vesh going to be able to win that 50 50. And Akimbo goes over the top, but the shot is off target. Nitrix, 20 seconds left. Halves the ball. Taco Man with that 50 50. Vesh is going to be able to go for this final aerial attack. Does he win it? No, he's just off, but Nitrix is there to follow up. Can they get the shot on target? Oh. Good save by Slayer as Indian River State College is playing amazing defense in this last few minutes. Spoon's going to look for a last resetter. He gets it by his defender, but Akimbo is there to clear it out. And unless this ball hits the ground, we are going to be maybe seeing a goal on the last second. As we saw yesterday, Taco Stash going to look for a finish. Spoon is okay, going to let yeah. it drop, and we are going to overtime in game three. 
Okay, so overtime here. First one we're going to see of the day. Hopefully for the sake of all the players, it doesn't go as long as the Academy team's overtime. That it was probably one of the longest ones I have ever seen, yeah. if not is the longest one. That one nearly broke nine minutes. But with extra time on the clock here, oh. Bash doing what he does best with oh, the single juke. He tries to get the check on the goalie as well. The rebound coming on through from Nitrix, but yet the goaltender is still there to make the save in the last possible opportunity and get it out for just a time being. But it's still in the IRC zone for just a moment's time. Finally going to get cleared on out here. Bash trying to clear this up one out, but immediately got four checked aside from the, the side of IRSC once again. Kind of a loose ball just on the outside of the crease. This is a very dangerous area still here for St. Clair. They cannot get too comfortable. As we see, that ball is just hovering right around the net. At any point, the most awkward of bounces could turn this on its head and give IRC the lead at this rate. Yeah, St. Clair started well, but they're having a bit of trouble getting it out of their own half for these last 30 seconds as Nitri is going to be looking to get a pass defender. Oh, that's a good pass in the air. Taco Stash managed to get it, but Spoos will be there for the touch. Nice touch by Spoos into the corner. They're going to try and find Vesh into this middle. Is he going to go up for the follow-up? He can't get the finish. Got what it. a goal slayer a bit too far in the net as Saints take game three in overtime. Beautiful finish there by Vesh, waiting for that ball to be in the perfect spot. Hit it with such power that Slayer didn't have time to save it. And Saints take a 2-1 lead. All right, that was absolutely what they needed to do. And just capitalizing on the error there of I IRSC. They did have Slayer in the back of the net. And I think you pointed it out, but he was so far in the back of the net that by the time they made their own reaction, it was too late. The ball had crossed the line. So there we go, Saints Nation. We got ourselves a lead once again here. But of course, best of five territory. This is not done just yet. One more win like that, though, our Saints will be absolutely making their way over into the winner's semifinals side of things, where I believe it was um, either GVSU or Davenport who would be waiting on us if that does happen. But I don't want to count my chickens before they yeah. hatch here, as we do, of course, have IRSC ready to fight back. We've seen game fives from the squad before and we've seen some crazy reverse sweeps even throughout the week, not necessarily for CRL. Or, yeah. oh wait, it was CRL when that happened. But uh, basically just don't cut your chickens before they hatch. <laughs> yeah, and I just want to point out, Indian River State College playing very well in all three of these 100%. games. 100%. A bit of a rough start in the first game, but game two and game three, they played very well. Just one or two mistakes, like that oh, was in one. the air as Spoods gets a goal in the first seven seconds. Huge start for St. Clair, and as I was speaking about a mistake, we see one one come out from Taco oh. Stash and just gives Spoos an easy shot on target. Akimbo's not there in time, and Saints have a nice start to this game four. Yeah, when they were in the corner right there, the, I think it was your Slayer or Akimbo, they were in the Saints corner looking to make the centering attempt, but it bounced off one of the Saints cars, and that ended up turning into the most beautiful pass for yeah. the Saints to get a goal off of. And I don't blame Taco Stash for not being um, defensively ready, because you were charging in to probably be that person to take the shot. So yeah. it really made things difficult there for IRSC, and that's a rough one to give early here in this game. The Saints are oh. looking for yet another, but Taco Stash is going to be right there. You can see, when he's ready defensively, absolutely sound. Absolutely, we've seen it time and time again. Obviously last game, so many clutch saves, but they did drop it in overtime as St. Clair have the ball up the field. Taco Stash in the air, winning that 50-50. Nitrix gonna look for a bit of an attack on this right side. Nobody's here to contest him at the time. Takes it over his defender. Oh. Is there anyone to follow up? Vesh in the air, gonna pass it out to Nitrix. Gonna go for a recenter. Kimbo gets it out of danger, but St. Clair keep possession, and they, they're four minutes away from advancing. They have that 1-0 lead, but Vesh finds the ball over to Spoods in the corner, gets a nice recenter, but Taco Stash and Akimbo both going for it. It's going to be an aerial attack, but it's a good defense by Nitric. Spoods manages to get it up and take control of the ball. Going to look for an attack of his own, but misses the ball a little bit. Slayer gets a nice challenge in the air. Taco Stash going to be able to pass it back, but Vesh is there for the counter. It's a demo by Spoods. It's a huge demo, and Slayer's out of the question for a tiny bit. It's a good push by Saints. Nitric's looking for a shot on target. It's a good wow. move away, and it's a goal 2 0 St. Clair Saints, just like that. What an odd angle to pull that one off from, but we are going to see Nitrix on the solo effort there. Just catches the goaltender jumping early and just manages to clutch it out. Got past the one, got past the Kimbo as well, and was able to put it just right into the bottom corner. Don't worry about crushing it. You just need it in the right direction. And that gives the Saints a little extra insurance here in this one if they can hang on for another three minutes and 25 seconds. But of course, IRSC after that, you know, between both of those goals, they knew they had those. They probably want those ones back. A second time around, they would have not let those happen. But 
going to have to come back with a Fury in a moment's time. But even though the Saints have the lead, they are continuing this aggression. Spoods just goaltender hunting at this point yeah. as well. Get that third, and not only do you have a little extra insurance, you probably have their morale shattered if they can keep this one going. But Kimbo in the Saints zone, looking to drop this right into the center of the crease. But Besh is there to carry this one out. Gets past one, but Taco Stash is going to at least stop that one from happening. Yeah. Ah, uh, the second goal, I think. Oh, two demos oh, real yeah. quick by Indian State. Open net, there you go, that's one. And just like that, in the blink of an eye, they make it a one-goal game. Uh, well played, they got two demos. They had a three-on-one for a couple of seconds. Nobody in the net, and it's a goal. No, very, very well done by Indian River State College. And I think both sides are looking for kind of those bumps on the goalies, those demos. I think those have proven vital in this series so far, as the last two goals have been just by demos and goalkeeper displacements as Knight just gets blown up by Akimbo. But St. Clair just needs to stay calm after that one as Vesh misses the ball, but Nitrix is there to follow up. You know, they have this 2-1 lead. They want to they wanna close out the series right here. Don't make it any longer than it has to be as you have a rest of the day to play as well. But let's see if they can hold on. Akimbo on the attack, finds a dangerous center, but Vesh is there. Spoos manages to take it over his defender. It's going to be a nice attack coming for St. Clair here. Spoos flying through the whole team. Doesn't find too much with it as everyone's there to defend. Nitrix on the sideline can't find too much as Akimbo cancels out his attack. Vesh going to look for a pass over to Spoos on this other side of the map. Nice little... Nice little touch over the defender. Can Taco Stash find it? Yes, he does. Vesh is there as well as Nitrix. But hiding is Slater as they're going to try and get the ball out of the danger area here. Vesh going to look for an aerial attack of his own. Is he going to get a challenge anywhere? Nice touch over to the side. Nitrix there for the follow-up. Can they maybe find a recenter here? No, they cannot as there's no boost on Nitrix. Needs to get a pack here. Kimbo is going to be in the danger zone, flying through the air. Taco Stash doesn't find too much with it. And they're going to another, yet another demo onto Vesh. It's a shot near the target of St. Clair, but it's cleared away by Spoos as Taco Stash finds a nice challenge. Vesh can be in the air. Crucial touch right there as there were two attackers ready to follow up on that ball. Nitrix here in the, in the Indian River State College side doesn't find the challenge on Slayer. Slayer's going to have a really dangerous attack here, but Spoos manages to clear it out. Vesh in the air for this 50 50. Huge challenge. As Knight Akimbo in the air and look for a recenter. Spoods manages to clear it out. One minute, 15 seconds left in this game. Gonna look for a center by Slayer. Good defense on the side of Nitrix. Vesh is gonna be able to take it up, and St. Clair retain this defensive lockdown that they have, and they're not letting Indian River State College even get a shot off. Well, that was a cute little bump there, actually, from the IRSC squad and nearly turned that into a pass towards the center. But they need something quickly here. You had mentioned that the demos seem to be much more, like, or just having that much more here in this game. And not only are they just demos for the sake of demos, but it feels like there's proper intent. Beautiful, the one time they did get that goal, of course, got the two Saints members off the board and were able to get an open net. They'll need something basically just like that to get themselves in this oh, extreme situation as they are hanging on by a thread just by the edge of their crease. But 30 seconds left to go. Slayer puts up. Taco oh. Stash is there. Nearly had a breakaway opportunity, but could not control the ball. Just ended up going into the left-hand side of the Saints defense. Now Nitrix up with it, trying to stall as much as possible, but with no boost in the tank, it's not going to last forever. And Spoods now with control, hanging on to it, but immediately challenged and actually won there by Slayer. Centering opportunity towards the crease, but Vesh is there to just try and drag this out to center. Five oh, seconds demo. left to go with one player off. It's going to be up to Taco Stash for the last opportunity off the backboard, but that it is, is going to drown. fall. St. Clair are going to manage to take this one. As you can see, very... Very excited about that one. Three to one victory in their favor. Nicely done. Yeah, well played by St. Clair, managing to hold on to that 2-0 lead. You know, they let one up, but they learned from their mistakes. They decided to get the demos. They decided to take the series into their own hands, and they take it 3-1 as they're through to the semifinals, semifinals. Yep. of day two. And uh, I'm not too sure who they're going to be playing up against, as I'm sure we'll see the bracket pretty soon, but well played by our St. Clair Saints. What do you think were the biggest takeaways from that ma matchup? Okay, so the fact that they are calm after game one's victory was like, was pleasant to see. But to see how it kind of shattered a little bit during game two after a extremely quick, I think within the first minute goal yeah. from IRSC, you could tell that it kind of shook them up a little bit. But going into game three, when they, they are the ones to capitalize on the mistake, get that quick goal, you could see when it's, when it's good, it's good. But when something goes wrong, there does seem to be a little bit of uh, fragility, to say the least, to the mental of the, of the squad, at least as of right now. Or maybe I'm thinking maybe a little <laughs> bit too heavily into it. But it was also nice to see when the demo play got in there, nobody got angry. I didn't see any of these like random revenge demos where you're just going yeah. after a guy just to be a goon. But um, 
all the demos were with intent. It was the shooter, it was the passer, somebody was getting taken out of the play for the sake of actually stopping an offensive opportunity happen instead of just uh, just cause. Yeah, and uh, it's, a, it's a great victory for St. Clair, you know, managing to keep their unbeating streak in this tournament. Hopefully they can take it all the way. Uh, two more two more best of fives and they're there. That's exciting. That's exciting for them. But with that being said, we're going to throw it to a quick break. We'll be right back with the semifinals.
All right, we're back in action here. Winner semifinals now here in this CRL Open number one. Going up against now, we have Grand Valley State University that just came off a nail-biting Game 5 victory over Davenport, knocking them to the lower bracket. So Saints definitely have a tough opponent up ahead here. So we now have basically the ball immediately getting sent to the Saints zone. Cyber Sasha is leading the way for GVSU. Yeah, as you just stated, GVSU had a really tough matchup in the first round, but they did manage to win. There's just a shot right off target by Spooz. Nitro's gonna look for a battle in the air, but doesn't find too much. Cyber Sausage can be having going 1-1 one -one with Vesh. Vesh managed to find the 1v1, but there's a good clearance away, and Spooz gets blown up. We're gonna see if we're gonna have a lot of demos this game. Maybe that's a strategy for GVSU. Well, we do not know as of right now. Nitro's gonna have a 50-50 battle. It's a good shot by the side of Spooz, but it's a good save. And uh, Vesh goes for 50-50. Spoods find a tap towards the middle. Vesh takes out Kalos, but doesn't hit the ball. Spoods going to clear it out. It's going to be a challenge in the air by Alpha. And it's going to be a good touch oh. to Nitrix. Gets saved. Almost danger levels for St. Clair, but they managed to get away with it. As there's another demo by Vesh. What do you think St. Clair needs to take this game? I mean, at this point here, it seems incredibly even on both sides. Two like relatively decent chances on one from each side as of right now. But Kalos and the rest of the uh, GVSU squad don't necessarily seem to have like the passing play down, at least as of yet. Still extremely early, extremely scrappy. And to be fair, same on the Saints. It's been a lot of like one, maybe two player opportunities go on through. As we now see, Spood's going to make the initial save there. A little bit of a downtown shot from Alpha over to Kalos. Kalos has it, just tries to take it on himself, but I don't care how good you are. Trying to go up against two, that is going to be extremely difficult. But does manage to lob it up there for Alpha. Puts it in the corner for Kalos, but Kalos does not get that 50 spoots. A little bit of opportunity. Can he run away with oh. it? He absolutely is, but it's on the line. He does manage to get it across the line. Spoots barely by a thread is going to get the first goal here of the game. Against two defenders, manages to find the finish right in the top corner as nobody's able to reach it. And that's a 1 0 lead for St. Clair. Beautiful start, you know, a goal basically out of nothing. Uh, Spoods well played for sure. As that a, felt harmless at first. Yeah, it felt like nothing's happening. And then beautiful finish by Spoods gives St. Clair the lead. And they, they're going to look to hang on. But GVSU is right back on the attack. Missed missed a bit of an opportunity there. Spoods gets the clearance. Nitro is going to go in the corner. Oh, Alpha with oh. a bit of a mistake. But Nitro cannot find the angle. That's a, mistakes are dangerous at this high level of Rocket League, but they get away with one there. Vesh going to look for an aerial attack. Can he find anything? He's going to take to the corner, maybe look for a recenter. Maybe find Nitrix in there. Spooz doesn't find much with it. They're still up here. Spooz manages to take it up the wall around his defender. Going to look for either a shot or a center here. That's a shot, wow. Vesh, with the, with the touch off the defender, and it's 2-0 for St. Clair. Very good start for them early on in this game. And off they go, apparently. What a passing play there nice. from Spoon. Sends it down to Vesh, and it was just the one-on-one, -on -one, but that, that close of a range, you almost have to kind of pre-jump to make a save, similar to how a traditional soccer goalie would have to, and just absolutely clutching it up, giving Saints that extra insurance that we might be feeling a little bit of the tournament jitters kind of coming out here from Grand Valley State. It's like, yes, I oh, just, no. oh my goodness. Oh, oh okay, hang on a second, dirty. that was so close. But like, congratulations, you just won a game five in like a really, really close fashion. That's great and all. Here's another opponent that's <laughs> just as hard, if not harder. Probably harder, as our Saints have been good this whole tournament, showing Absolutely. their dominance, 50-50 challenge. Alpha is going to come out with it at the end of the day. And that's a, okay. that's a demo on Vesh. Can they find things? Spoods is there still. Vesh is back into action. Kahlo is going to be on the, in the air. Nitrix misses the 50-50, but Spoods is there to clean it up. Going to find another nice attack. Vesh is going to go for the shot oh. right off the post. Is Spoods there? Gets a nice little bump on the defender. Can he no find way. the flip? No, oh. he does not, as he had no boost left, unfortunately. Very good chance for St. Clair there. But the shot on target, Vesh. No, Nitrix, I apologize, with the save. Good save to give Saints a two-gold cushion. Does not let anything go in. Vesh is going to be here on the defense. Nice save by him as St. Clair playing in dangerous territory. A lot of shots on target, but GBSU, where they cannot find anything. Call uh, going up for the 50-50. Does not win it. St. Clair drops right in the middle. It's a dangerous position, but Spoots should be able to clear it out towards the corner. Nitrix is there, and St. Clair managed to retain this defensive lockdown that they've had this entire game. Okay, we're seeing some of that counterattacking uh, style coming out here now from Grand Valley. They nearly turned that around on the Saints, but a good save from Nitrix to keep them in this game. Vesh now, good little passing play, gonna get the shot on target, but Alpha's gonna push that one aside. Shot right back down. Spoots is gonna pick that up before it goes towards the net. And at least here for the Saints, even when they're using things like their, their demos and their 
passes and whatnot, if they're taking the, or if they're gonna miss the ball, they at least hit the player. So it takes them initially out of this play. But um, either way, it is working as of this moment. A good little demo coming out here from Carlos Antevesh to probably put a stop to this offensive opportunity. But the Saints aren't too worried here. They don't have to score anymore. They 15 don't. seconds left to go and they've got this one. Yeah, they should have this one on lockdown unless some crazy miracle comes out from GVSU. There is a demo by Carlos, but St. Clair almost get a third goal of their mm -hmm. own. But do not find it. Three seconds left. <clears throat> as soon as this ball touches ground, it is going to be the game. And there it is. 1-0 lead for St. Clair College. Green up against GVSU. A good start to the semifinal as they're going to try and keep up this great play and uh, take this series. I mean, at this rate, it might be a... <laughs> Not the commentator's curse, but this might be a 3-0 and done with the way this one is. GVSU just kind of looked lost in that first initial game. And like for whatever reason, un unknown, but just could not really get any of their offensive start or offense started. Maybe one or two plays of like a little bit of brilliance. Like the light was at the end of the tunnel, but just Saints defense has also been extremely strong throughout this entire weekend, and they were not going to let that one slip on by. So um, in your, if you're a player in this position, what do you think you have to do on the side of GVSU to kind of uh, wake up and get in there? You just gotta stay composed. You know, we just saw our Saints in our last series win the first game 4-1, but they did drop the second game after allowing a quick goal. So they're gonna look to just stay composed. GVSU, they just need to brush it off. Everyone loses games. Our Saints obviously are an amazing team. So, some games you just can't beat them when they're playing at their best, but GVSU just mm -hmm. needs to lock back in, needs to stay composed, stay relaxed, and just play the best Rocket League they can, as that's the only way you're going to win Rocket League, by playing the best you can. But uh, I believe we are going to be underway in our game two here in the semifinals. Let's see what, what, what we can get done. Nitrix with a 50-50 ball off the start. And, but it's going to be Grand Valley with the first attack, it seems like. The ball gets recentered. Vesh is able to clear it out on the side to Spoots. Gonna look for a recenter of his own. Vesh gonna look for a nice pass towards the middle. But there's two players of GVSU, two contested, but not, still not done. Nitro's gonna look for a center here. Does not find Alpha, and Spoots gonna have a 50 50 ball. Vesh is there for the backup, but Alpha's taken it through a couple of players. Oh, it's a big miss, but Carlos is there for the recontest. What do you think St. Clair need to do in this game to not give Grand Valley any space? Honestly, just punish miscommunications. There's already been a few times, even in this last 30 seconds, where I'm seeing like pass backs that don't look like was initially intended or double commits towards saves. And that's gonna make it so that the Saints can find themselves an opportunity to catch the defense off guard and put it into the back of the net if this keeps on up here. That being said though, Alpha nearly finds the passing play. Nice attempt, but Vesh immediately gonna get that interception and continue the pressure. This one's going right towards oh, the crease, right bouncing on through. Nitrix is there, but he does not have the angle to put this one in. So Alpha is gonna send it up, but Spoods and the rest of the Saints are actually already backtracking, make sure they're not gonna give up anything. Even though Vesh gets taken off the field, it does not matter because the ball's in GVSU's court. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, if you get demos and you're on the attack, it just slows your attack down. It's way more dangerous on the defense. The, speaking of danger, the ball's right about the same clear net. Spoods able to clear it out. But Vesh is going to have a crucial 50-50 here. Does not oh. find it. Nitrix finds it off the line. As it's a shot on target, but Vesh is there. Great defense by St. Clair. Yet again, not allowing up any any goals by any mistakes as Nitrix is going to look for an aerial battle here. Ooh. Gets it taken over, but oh. Spoods is there yet again. The defense of St. Clair proving to be so vital at this moment. And now they're looking for the attack. They're looking to break here. Nitrix takes it towards the corner, but Alpha is there to clear it out. St. Clair going to regroup a little bit, recuperate, and look to get the ball back as Alpha's flying through the air. Nobody He's going up to contest him. Spoots has it on the back wall. Gonna look to take it up himself. Gets it over the defender. Nice touch, but Kaos is there. Nitrix is gonna have a big fight here. Wins the ball. It's a 50-50. Gets it by him. Alpha gonna have a shot on target here. Good save by Spoots. Manages to take it up over the defenders. That's a big demo onto Kaos. Gives St. Clair a lot of space. Can they find the counterattack here? But it's a good defensive play by the side of GVSU. They don't they don't give up any space as well. They're playing way better in this game too. That's a <laughs> dangerous chance for them, but they do not find it. St. Clair are struggling to get out of their own half at this point but gotta give credit where credit is due GVS you are playing well as Spoots find the aerial attack maybe he could find a chance here Alpha is there to clear it out 
Oh my goodness, this last two or three minutes or so coming up, GVSU was absolutely, like you said, the best they've been playing all game. They had like two, three, maybe four solid opportunities oh! here. But how did they manage to get that? Beautifully done from Nitrix. And I think that was best alongside him. I think there was a little bit of actual contact here to make this happen. Yeah. Sure enough, Vesh actually kind of pushed Cyber a Into little bit ball. aside to allow for that 50 to go into Nitrix's favor. You do not see that very often, that close to the net, but beautifully done. Awesome teamwork, and now Saints have themselves a lead. Yeah, they have themselves a lead, and that's crucial with the defense they've been playing. If Grand Valley can't score a goal this game, that would be truly, truly unfortunate for them as they have been playing oh. pretty decent rock league but the defense of saints are not letting up anything getting that one goal is going to be super crucial i think saint Clair just need to ramp it up a bit they don't want to be in their own half for the rest of this game but as, at this rate it might look like that's the case as gvs you are really putting on the pressure there's another shot but nitrous gets to clear it Carlos is going to look for a recenter here maybe going to take it towards the corner can he get it no he cannot spoots finds the clearance it's a dangerous ball above the saints net oh my oh it's a miss by vesh but nitrix is there to clear it that's a dangerous mistake for saints another one like that could be crucial but they still managed to stay in it cyber sausage going to look oh for gosh. a 50 50 in the air this is very dangerous off the crossbar oh. good save by vesh and it's still not in the net of saint Clair. they refuse to give up a goal to gvsu Vesh is going to look for the clearance here, and now there's going to be a sigh of relief for the Saints for a couple seconds, to say the least. They're going to be able to get control in the middle of the field. Spoods finds it over to Vesh. Can Vesh find the pass back to Spoods? No, he does not. It's a good challenge in the air by the side of GVSU. But Nitrix going to look for a center. It's oh. a dangerous shot on target. Alpha is there. Spoods is there for the follow-up, but it's a three people on the line. Everyone says that Vesh goes for the shot right above all the defenders as St. Clair take a 2-0 lead against GVSU in the semifinals. Oh, goodness. The goaltender's night. Nightmare. Everybody's crashing your net. You make one save, you make two saves, but you can only do so many rebounds before one finally squeaks by you. And that's so heartbreaking here from Grand Valley because I'm not going to lie, they're their offense this game has looked absolutely amazing. So much pressure. It feels like they're essentially winning the scenario until they're not. They just choke something and all of a sudden that turns into a goal. That's twice that's happened to them. And I'm going to guess that if we go have the same GVSU essentially going into game three that this one could very well swing their way because like, we know now what kind of offense they have and it is scary. Yeah, 30 seconds left. St. Clair look, going to look to hold on as the game is not over technically yet. But Absolutely. It's uh, anything is possible in Rocket League, but St. Clair playing the way they are, not allowing a single goal in four and minutes and 50 seconds so far in the second game. Going to look to close it out, take a convincing lead in the semifinals and Gonna try and take the series down to Spoods. Finds a contest. Carlos gets a shot on target, but Nitrix is there to clear it out. And uh, when this ball lands, it's gonna be a 2 0 lead yeah. for St. Clair's. GBSU can find one goal in two games. I think after that game, oh. their mental is gonna be not in a good place. You know, they played really well. They just couldn't get that final finish. Then Nitrix found that one goal with Vesh's support, and mm -hmm. it just went downhill for GBSU after that. Yeah, like thinking of like a boxer that the entire like match, they're just swinging, Hitting firing him. haymakers over and over and over again. It looks like they got the guy on the ropes, but all of a sudden, just one, one counter, counter attack, like a one counter attack knockout essentially, is what this kind of feels like the gameplay that the Saints are playing here. And that's definitely heartbreaking to have happen to you, but at least if I am GVSU, I know my offense is working yeah. now. Like game number one, that was convincing. It almost felt like there was nobody on the field. Game number two, that was extremely winnable for them. Just unfortunately, a couple of mistakes did not go in their, in their favor. But now game number three, let's see if the Saints can bring this one home take it to the winner's finals, or will GVSU keep this one alive? Yeah, and it's a dangerous start for Sinclair. Ball right in front of the net, forcing out a couple of saves already, but uh, they managed to regain regain the ball in a bit of a more neutral area. Find, Vesh finds a nice touch, but it's Good a save. save by Cyber Sausage, and uh, not too much danger there. But there's another save by Carlos, as St. Clair are on the attack early. They want to find this goal. Nice little center by Spoods. There's no one there to follow it up. It's in the air. Nitro's going to go up for a contest here. Pass it down to Vesh. Can Vesh find anything? There's a 50-50 challenge. He does not win it, so St. Clair are going to have to play a bit of defense here. Spoods passes it over to himself. Seems like takes it around two defenders, but Cyber Sausage is there. Vesh might Nitrix, I apologize is there for the clearance and calls with a 50-50 gonna be up in there Vesh gonna find a nice touch there's no goalie on the side of GVSU and wow. Vesh finds the first goal to give the Saints a quick lead in this game three 
I don't know if they cheated to try and maybe get a little bit of an offensive opportunity off, but you're exactly right. The goaltender was not home. Cyber Sausage flying on through at the last possible second, but did not have the angle on that in the slightest. It was just a Hail Mary attempt at a save. And the Saints, again, while the offense may not have necessarily been there for Grand Valley this time by, they found their opening once again and just punished it immediately. Yeah, and our Saints with the lead are very dangerous. Obviously, their defense is impeccable as it's a dangerous chance here for uh -oh. GVSU. There's going to need to be a clearance on the line. And there it is by Vesh coming out of seemingly nowhere as the counterattack begins. And this is where St. Clair strike the best. Cybersauce is going to be able to clear it out of the air, though, as there's a bounce off the wall. It's going to be a big challenge here. I think Spoods, Mr. Carlos is there with Vesh as we get, are able to get the clearance out coming out. Alpha puts it right above the net. Spoods is here for the defense as Vesh or Nitrix is going to fly in there. Vesh going to be on the right flank. Maybe he can find the touch on the ball here does not find it Carlos gets a nice little touch towards the middle that's a good shot on target wow and nice it shot. is in even though there were two defenders on the side of St. Clair there it just managed to sneak through them okay a beautiful pass there from Carlos is sent it right into the pocket basically and just fires oh. it in dead center to be fair that was a very fast shot 110 kilometers per hour is the count on that one and I don't care how good you are that uh, that's, <laughs> that's an fast. extremely quick one that you'd have to react to and finally a glimpse of hope here for Grand Valley they finally get themselves on a board with a beautiful goal at that yeah correct and St. Clair gonna look to bounce back here we see Spoods on the 1v1 but it's a good save by Cyber Sausage managing to clear it out Vesh gonna look for a battle in the middle gonna maybe find the pass over towards Spoods that can Spoods do anything it's gonna get a nice little 50-50 here a 1v1 against the goalkeeper oh. but Carlos is there to save it out Vesh gonna look for another 1v1 it's another nice save by Carlos as he's locking down the defense for GVSU GVSU seem to have picked up the pace but oh, Spoods gets a big demo nice shot but there's Carlos yet again on the defense Spoo's gonna go towards this pack alpha like that's a nice little flip over Vesh and it's a nice save by Vesh very dangerous for St. Clair there oh my goodness there was a few opportunities there I don't know what what it is about game three and Nitrix but Nitrix is headhunting oh. these defenders here it was constantly messing with the goaltender on the side of GVSU but now it's the GVSU's opportunity to maybe get themselves a go ahead if they want to push on forward, but they're actually going to play this rather passively. And to be fair, with the way the Saints are playing, I kind of don't blame them. All of their mistakes have been basically counterattacks. So if you don't overextend, you won't necessarily give away the kind of opportunity for the Saints to come back and get the goal. But that being said, still right back into the GVSU zone. I believe that was Vesh right there. Tries or no, Spoos pushes it over to Nitrix. Did not happen. Now Kalos in the Saints zone looks for Alpha. Alpha picks it up for a second. Has a little bit of boost in hand to try and make this play happen, but a good pick up here. Right above the crossbar for Vesh. Oh, nice. Gets past one. Looks to get past another. We know he's got Dangle. He's been snapping axles all weekend and looking for another one to drop down towards the crease, but not quite going to happen the way that the Saints were wanting. Still a tie game with 140 left. Yeah, Spoo's flying through the other, but does not manage to find that it's a really, really close game three. You know, one mistake and it could be the game as the ball is on the side of GVSU. They managed to clear it out. Mike Nitrix is going to be able to get this clearance as well. Going to look for a start and attack for St. Clair as they want to get this game three win. You know, it would be a huge victory over GVSU and uh, Spoo's is able to find it in their side of the net, but a bit of a that missed touch, a bit of an awkward touch, but Nitrix is there to <laughs> clean it up as there's a 50-50 battle. Carlos and Vesh fighting for it now. Cyber Sausage going to be able to get a nice touch there as it's a nice pass from Carlos to Cyber Sausage up into the middle, gets blown up, and Vesh is there on the defensive end as there was a nice nice little play by GVSU, mm -hmm. but St. Clair smells it out. Nitrix going to have a contest that there's one minute left in this game three. Cyber Sausage going to go for 50-50. Vesh is there. Vesh going to maybe find a counterattack. Could not find it around Carlos, but Spoods is there gonna look maybe for a cross towards the middle gonna try and find somebody puts it right above the net but it's good save by cyber sausage alpha gonna be here on the attack but st Clair have control of the possession yet again nitrix gonna start an attack from the back line but carlos is there to contest it good contest by nitrix honestly he's gonna take a lot of pressure here from the defenders of GVSU. Good oh. pass, but good defense by the side of GVSU. As Cyber Sausage and Spoods 50-50 here. Spoods gonna have a big challenge here. Does not manage to get another touch on it. Cyber Sausage with the clearance. Vesh gonna have a bit of a chance here. Maybe it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Couldn't he find it? Oh. Alpha with the save. Cyber Sausage is there as well. Spoods gonna look for another chance. That's a good shot. It's not on target. It's right above the net, but can any, anyone find the finish? Vesh flying in, but does not get the finish just yet. Good oh. touch on target. Good save by Carlos as it's one second left. The ball cannot touch the ground, but uh, 
Nitro is going to try and keep it up, and it looks like it it's going to go right over to overtime. Oh my goodness, what a way to possibly finish this one, or Grand Valley State University is absolutely fighting for their life here. The passing plays have come alive, oh. and their offense is there. And again, just needs to find that one opportunity where the Saints defense maybe cracks a little bit. Oh, Vesh? But Vesh, he's so known for just being able to get past one person by himself. Shot oh. on target is going to be stopped by Alpha. Coming in clutch to keep this one in there. And maybe it's GVSU's turn for the counterattack. They're going to get this one. Alpha sends it right into the Saints zone. Up into the top area as well. Vesh is going to try to clear it. Gets just taken away from him and immediately sent now Ooh. into GVSU zone bump. towards the crease. But nobody really has true control until Alpha looking to get past two. Flicks it on up, but it's just going to be picked aside by Spoods. And neither of these teams are really feeling comfortable right now. Yeah, over time, you know, both teams are definitely a bit nervous as they are human. But uh -oh. here's a nice little attack. Alpha manages to sniff it out as GVSU get yet another clearance. Carlos now on the counterattack. Spoos needs to get a big touch here, and he does. Alpha's going to have a shot on target. Can Nitrix get there in time? Yes, he does. Uh -oh. Going to find another bump off the wall. Good little pass towards the center of the net, but St. Clair were just on defense. They don't have their attackers up the field yet. Cyber Sausage now going to look for the attack. Nice little touch over. Oh. Good shot, but Spoos is there too. Before any danger even comes, clear it out. Spoo's now going to have a nice wow. little touch on target, and he's going to win it for St. Clair. Three over over GVSU to get into the finals. Crazy finish there. Nice little finish by Spoo's from his own half, as there was no defender for GVSU, and that's the series. A beautiful pinch, an absolute bullet to finish off the series like that. I did not expect that to be anywhere near as threatening as it was, but that was an absolute line drive directly into the nets. Cannot give the Saints enough credit for being able to pull that one off, but I do also want to give credit, of course, to GVSU. Solid opponent in their own right. They really came alive the last couple of games, but it just goes to show how like, consistent and steady the Saints are certain translate i know i said in the last series it seems like when things were going good they were going like amazing but then when there was hiccups you kind of seen the mental shatter a little bit i didn't feel that so much here no, no. in this game but at the same time there was not as many opportunities i feel where something went wrong so right now saints of course winners finals possibly up against either Stockton. We'll probably take a look at the bracket in just a couple of moments to see who we may be going up against. And in there fact, Algonquin, I tell you, these guys surprise me every time. You never really think of them, but they are up here in the semifinal up against Stockton University. And that match also has been going on for a little while here. So I'm sure that's quite the fight and a half. We get to get the match between the winner of that. But um, how are you thinking about the match? How are you thinking about the, uh, the bracket and whatnot as we go on through here? Well, St. Clair, you know, their two games today, we saw 3-1, 3-0. They're not allowing many of many goals. Like They're mm -hmm. scoring a lot of goals, and they're allowing very little goals. Like We've seen a good amount of shutouts already, and I think the defense of St. Clair has been absolutely impeccable in this tournament. You know That's the reason why they're, they're winning these games. They're built their defense, and they attack off it. They find the passes to Vesh. They find the nice little long-range snipe shots. Like Those little things all add up, and all those goals add up. And I think St. Clair have just been playing amazing o over to the grand finals. Who do, we, who do we think is going to make it to the finals? I mean, from the past, I would say it's probably Stockton that we're going up against. I feel like we've run into them in the late rounds, if not winners' finals, of either qualifiers or opens like this pretty consistently. But Algonquin's a wild card. I just do not know, um, to say the least. If I were to, I guess take a prediction I would say Stockton mm -hmm. but I'm guessing that's probably going to be a 3-1 or a 3-2 game mm -hmm. over there um, what about yourself uh, I honestly have no idea <laughs> that's a -okay. I just hope our Saints are able to take it in the finals that's all I hope okay. that's <laughs> a bit fair. of bias I'm sure, I'm sure that's what Saints Nation of course wants as well but I'd also do want to just quickly touch on the players that were at the bottom side I haven't given really given the lower bracket much yeah. love so far here in this uh, this cast so far but Davenport they initially gotten knocked down by GVSU in a game five scenario as well but now they're kind of making their way through here as well up against Indian River State so I'm sure that's going to be a good one and actually sure enough I, <laughs> that is going to be Stockton, Stockton up against our Saints three to one in fact was this the final score there but Indian River now still in this one um, Davenport's still here, Arizona State Maroon, and then Indiana, 
can't sleep on them or King University as well. And of course, GVSU is still here. It's still a team that we can possibly see, whether it's the lower final or the grand final. Of course, I want it to be the grand final, but yeah. you never know as we continue on here throughout this bracket. It's getting interesting. Yeah, and uh, you know, we're playing in Stockton. As you said, it's going to be an exciting matchup in the winner's final. The winner is through to the grand final. Can't wait. I'm so excited. After this quick break, we will be right back with the winner's final.
All right, Saints Nation. Winner's finals time here for the CRL Open. Going to be an absolute banger here. Stockton University is our opponent going up against, of course, the St. Clair College Green roster. Yeah, let's see what our Saints can get done in this winter finals. Obviously, both teams are very, very strong teams. It's a, it's a bit of uh, Saints are on the blue side as we get a shot on target by Nitrix. And it's going to be a quick okay, goal for the right. Saints. Just getting into the game, Saints take a quick 1-0 lead in the winner's finals. Great start for the Saints. Uh, what do you think we're going to see out from Stockton? You know, they've been a good team for a long time now. What do you think we'll see in this series? Well, I'm hoping not much, like, <laughs> hopefully not defense like that. I know specifically Top Cheese was so sad when things did not necessarily go their way for the CRL qualifiers. But, of course, I'm expecting them to come out angry here. But I'm hoping coming out angry does not mean the, these three-player all-ins that we kind of caught them with this time by. Oh, it's and another chance. It's just very, very close so far. Saints seem like they're in the driver's seat. But the Saints are just so scary because even the last couple of goals we saw in the last series and then starting off here, these are plays that are basically happening from our zone, shots from our zone and still being threatening. Vash nearly going to just pile drive his way through the crease through two members, but it is going to be stopped. And Stockton looking for their offensive break. Yeah, and there's another oh shot by Vesh, and it's a quick 2-0 lead. We could see Saints have been playing so well all day in the first minute here in the winners' finals, are able to get two quick goals. And if this is anything that's going to tell us anything about this series, is that Saints are coming out hungry. They want to finish this quickly. They want to be dominant. Let's see how the rest of the game is going to play out. Another kickoff here. Third one in one minute as a anti eat pizza. He's going to look for an attack here. Finds it over. Spoos, and it's a dangerous chance for Stockton, but they don't get much off at top. She gets it cleared out by Vesh. As Stockton is playing very aggressive, feels like it's sending a lot of players forward, not worrying too much about the defense, and it's come back to cost him as Vesh on the attack yet again. Three defenders there that time. Topchi is going to get a shot, maybe on target for the Saints, but Spoods is there to defend it as he always is. Nice gets a nice touch around eight and eight pieces. He's going to get another shot on target maybe here. Dak can't make a nice save, but is there any follow up by anyone from the Saints? It's a nice attempt by, I believe it was. Vesh, but I'm not too sure as he's back there to defend against this attack. Top she's gets a nice shot, but Vesh gets the defense, gets a nice little demo on deck there, and that's going to give them a bit of momentum. As Spoos just calmly takes it in front of the goal line, not worried too, about too much, but messes up just a little bit as deck gets the attack here. Nitri is going to be able to find the clearance and. Uh, Let's see if they can get another nice touch. A bit of a mistake there. Spoos with wow. the finish. 3-0 in two minutes for St. Clair. Looking absolutely amazing in this grand, in this winner's finals. Coming out with an absolute statement. Beautiful pass from Nitrix right on over to the front bumper of Spoods, who's just able to give it that extra push to get it past the defender. And just beautifully done there for the Saints as a whole. And for Stockton, I know at least personally from watching these players for a little while here of course I oh no oh hang on a second i gotta <laughs> stop myself for a second as that's gonna be goal number four, four here has it's just gonna get essentially knocked in for what felt like for free the demo from vesh that's and then beautiful. following up we seen him do that yesterday he'll do it again again and the assist over from nitrix so the little playmaker today apparently yeah and the 4-0 lead i mean Stockton just need to not get too mentally boomed as Top G is going to look for a pass here over but Spoo is able to defend it alongside Nitrix as Vash is going to look for a counter attack. Maybe he's going to look for a fifth here but it's good defense by Deck as he manages to get the save and Pizza now on the attack going to look to pass it over to Cheese but doesn't find it. Nitrix there with nice defense. Vash going to pop it up. Deck is going to go for the 50-50 but does not get a Vesh there in the air. It's going to be another save by Top G as he makes, manages to get it out. Spoods off the back wall. Can Vesh find the finish? A bit of a weird touch up against the top but still there. Deck is going to be able to clear it out as Nitrix misses in the air. Now it's going to be a bit of a counter attack. Spoods is there with the defense. Manages to get the save. It is a 4-0 lead for St. Clair but they do not want to get complacent and give Stockton any momentum to work off. Yeah, absolutely, and Vesh once again now in the offensive zone off the pass from Nitrix. Nitrix is just setting everybody up for success here in this game number one. And yeah, this 4-0 lead, that's definitely got to be a little bit of a mental boom for the side of Stockton. Still plenty of time to try and make this one back. We've seen crazier things happen, but that one definitely hurts a little bit. And I'm wondering if it's because... Uh, I just stocked in, in general over this season. I don't recognize Ant Aid's pizza. I don't know if he's like the new third or what's been going on, but um, while still having some solid success here in the CCA or the CRL Open, 
the Saints are just absolutely in the driver's seat. They do not look like they're threatened in the slightest by the Stockton roster. Yeah, and St. Clair love winning the game ones. Every game one we've seen today have been so Ooh. dominant as there's a goal by Deck and by there's Top one. Cheese, I apologize. Deck with the assist and they do get one back, but is it a little bit too late as they need to get three more in the span of one minute? Well, on the time, it's not too late. But if St. Clair can keep up the same defense they've had for the first four minutes of this game, it will be rough for Stockton. St. Clair with another kickoff here. Top just gets a nice touch, but oh. Nitrix blows him right out of the water. Spoods gets a nice touch, but it's still in the danger area for St. Clair. Nitrix with a little bit of save. Besh is going to look for the 50-50. It's a shot. I don't think it's on target, but Spoots is going to be there to redirect it. Mess it up a little bit for Stockton. It's a good pass to Top Cheese, but it's a great save oh. by Besh. If that went in, oh. this game would have been really, really nerve-wracking. As it's still there, Top Cheese doesn't manage to find it. And the pizza is going to be on the clear. Nitrix is going to be there on the defense. Spoots manages to find the clearance. Top Cheese is going to just put it in, but it's not really on target. It's not to anyone. Nitrix is going to find a good touch around the defenders. Takes it over. Ante Pizza is a demo by Spoots. Beautiful team play by the Saints here. Vesh finds a sh touch toward the corner. Won't find too much off that, but it's, they're just burning time at this point. St. Clair, they're up three goals. Good defense there by Nitrix as they're looking to take game one away from Stockton University. I mean, they're finding opportunities here, and that is going to be the second goal of the game, but this time, is. Ant A Pizza going to secure this one. And with 26 seconds left, this is still absolutely winnable for the side of Stockton. And it just seems that Stockton's scrappy play is just working for them, to say the least. <laughs> oh my goodness. Skip the replay. This is production, buddy. But nonetheless, we have, of course, um, two goal lead here for the Saints just yeah it's still the striking distance yeah I mean but St. Clair 15 seconds gonna just try and recuperate a little bit you know allowing two goals but they did score four so early as they there decide why not get a fifth why not close down style Vesh gets the goal from the half field line obviously Stockton we're going all in on the attack they do not care Top Cheese is not happy that we're not skipping but it is 5-2 for St. Clair they're gonna take this first game pretty dominantly with a good start Absolutely. If they want to try anything silly, that's what a CRL Broadcasting wave is this for. But nonetheless, um, to not get too shaken up by that, our Saints, of course, is One just more. absolutely looking for the icing on the cake. And <laughs> that is just absolutely brutal stuff coming out here from the Saints. Absolute domination, to say the least, here in game number one. And you can see just cool, calm, collected, not even phased. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be happy with that game one. <clears throat> um, Heck, I think I'm more shook than the players <laughs> yeah, are at this yeah. point. <laughs> uh, they, they seem pretty confused, I think, toward the end of that, but they will be taking a 1-0 lead, you know. Hopefully their mentals are, you know, with a bit of everything going on is still intact after that good win. You know, 5-2 is a pretty dominant win. They got those four goals early. Hopefully they're able to replicate it in this next game as we get ready for game two. It's a best of five, correct, Dan? Still in best of five territory still from what I five. understand. So after a game one going in that favor, um, all pressure I think is on the Saints just to kind of keep up that kind of, uh, kind of play because it yep. feels like it's more so theirs to lose more than stock tends to really try and win so to speak yeah but just keep playing like you're playing and you're going to be golden yeah stockton don't seem too happy with the result of that first game as vesh takes out deck to start off the game spoot's going to look for a nice little flip reset doesn't find too much there nitrix misses the ball and it's a danger zone for st Clair. vesh has, has a 1v1 big safe there by the side of vesh very well done as st Clair could have got off to a really bad start there but nice little demo by ante pizza onto spoots as uh, this game's Getting a bit of a good start for Stockton. St. Clair on the back foot to start it off. Can they find the defense here? Vesh on the goal line yet again. Manages to find that save. Usually we will see Spoos there, but Vesh for the first couple of possessions here in that goal line position. Uh, let's see if maybe something drops to Spoos. And it does. Okay. First goal for St. Clair. I think Stockton are playing a little bit tilted right now. I think they're sending up all their players really wanting to score. Like you can see all three oh. players there. Nobody's near the net. And St. Clair yet again find a goal just like that. It seemed like all of them went for it, but then nobody committed. Yeah. Like, it was a triple commit that nobody committed on. Just unfortunate there for the side of, of Stockton. Just, you can tell everyone wants to make a play, but they don't necessarily want to step on their own teammates' toes. And in that regards, nothing ends up happening. So Saints had essentially Another all day team. in the world to make that play happen. Now, still over four minutes left to go. A nice attempt there for the shots on target, but Spoos manages to save oh, no. two, but you can't save the third. Good rebound there from Ante Pizza to tie this game up. 
And that's a that's a nice play by Stockton coming right back with a goal of their own, saying we're we're not here to just be run over. They're back in this game at 1-1, uh, and uh, that's a that's a good good way to regain their mental after that first early goal. It's going to be a 1-1 game with one minute gone on the clock. Vesh gets a nice touch to start oh, off. That was, that was really close to being an opportunity right there as Top Cheese is going to take it up. Spoods with a 50-50, manages to win it. Going to have an aerial shot here. It's a good save coming out from the defender of Stockton. But Nitrous gets taken out with Top Cheese. Good shot on target by Vesh, but Deck manages to clear it out. He's going to be up on the skybox, doesn't find too much with it. Spoods with a shot, just missed the target. Is that going to be anyone on the follow-up? Nitrix doesn't find too much with it. Vesh in the air, going to look for a good touch, but it's good defense by the side of Stockton. And uh, St. Clair can't find anything there. Top Cheese and Vesh going at it. Spoods gets gets the bounce on the ball. It's going to go up, but Top Cheese is going to regain control. Never mind, Nitrix misses the ball through the air. Vesh gets a nice touch. Top Cheese out there, going to look for a touch toward the other side. Deck is there. It's a good touch by Deck, but Vesh gets the save. Good save by Vesh, critical his third save already in this game. Spoo's able to get possession off the ball. Ante Pizza misses the ball, and Spoo's is going to try and restart the attack for the Saints here. Vesh going to get a nice touch in the air. Deck misses it. That's a big mistake. Nitrix gets a nice follow-up, but does not manage to put on target. Can he find the redirect towards the middle? No, he cannot. Spoo's and Nitrix looking to make some play happen here, but it's a good clearance by Stockton. And uh, two men's gone into this game. A lot of high action Rocket League. Yeah, it's a high action Rocket League, but yet nobody's really in the last couple of minutes had that just grandiose opportunity here. This could be the turning point, though, as Nitrix trying to push one through. A good little demo there, though, from Deck to stop that passing play from occurring the, maybe the way the Saints had wanted to. So now Vesh, of course, just right after getting demoed, forced to be the goaltender in that situation. Deck looking for a teammate, but the only person he's going to find is Nitrix in this regard. Just constantly being shoved around it looks like maybe this game's getting a little bit more physical as it goes along especially with it being all tied up Stockton definitely have their heads in this game compared to game number one and being able to keep it with the Saints one-to-one -one like this lots of pressure of course as we do now have Ant ate pizza dumping this one in the dump and chase could have been a possibility but a good stop there from Nitrix to send it right back into the Stockton zone Oh, good demo. Good demo on to the goaltender as well. Deck, though, going to stop that one from happening. Nearly an opportunity, but not quite this time. Yeah, Vesh going to look for another recenter off the side, but does not find it. Pretty solid defense by both teams, I would say. Not too many shots on target in the last couple of minutes, but Spoods is going to go up for an aerial attack. He wins the 50-50 with the defender, but Top Cheese is there. There's three defenders. Good Rebound. pass to the wall of the net. Is there anyone to follow up? No, there is not. As counterattack by Stockton, it's looking dangerous. Can Deck to get there? No, he cannot. Spoods manages to get the save. Vesh gets the demo as St. Clair back on the attack, just like that. Spoods tries to take it over the defender, but Ante Pizza is there to clear it out. It's going to look dangerous for St. Clair as they don't have any defenders, but Vesh is there for the one-on-one. -on -one. Managed to get the good defense. Nitrix on the skybox doesn't doesn't find too much with it. As Ante Pizza is going to be on the ground, popped up towards the middle. Spoos is there. Sinclair are the on the attack, but it's a good clearance by Top Cheese. Nitrix going to look to win this challenge in the corner as he does. Good touch as well. Spoos going to be 50-50 in the air. Top Cheese goes over him, but uh, where's Vesh? Vesh? Vesh is in the net. I think he's about to clear that one oh, as he close. does. Good attempt by Top Cheese. Another shot on target. My Nitrix is there with the save. Sinclair going into danger territory. One minute left. Can they take it down? Another shot on target, but Spoos is there to save it. Three saves in a row by St. Clair. Going to look to push the offense here. Now Vesh, Spoos, Spoos flying through the air, takes over the defender. And Vesh gets down. Oh my goodness. Nice try by Spoos, but it's great defense by the side of Stockton. Nitrix puts it toward the corner as Deck is going to pass it out. And uh, both teams breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, that was almost ridiculous there from Spoods. One way from the other, nearly getting past all three, but didn't end up happening in this time by. And now Top Cheese, you know he wants that goal. He's got five shots here in this one, just could not quite put it away. He's just firing on all cylinders, and this could be their opportunity now. Deck looking for the centering. There's Top oh, Cheese, but immediately saved by Spoods, not letting him have like an, like an inch of space, making that save pretty well immediately. 15 seconds left to go here. Spoods, a little bit of a slow uh, centering attempt is just going to actually be the pass here for Top Cheese. Going to be picked away though. Nitrix just kind of dumps it to the side. Overtime is imminent here for this game number two. One more offensive opportunity maybe here for Vesh, but no boost in the tank. is going to just make this one get knocked down. We have overtime for game two. Yeah, we have overtime for game two. Way closer game two. Both teams playing, I would say, very good Rocket League. You know, a couple goals in the first minute. That takes, takes out Spoods, but Vesh is here in the middle to lock up any plans. Nitrous flying through the air. Gets a nice shot right next to the Rebound. target. Can Vesh find the finish? <laughs> yes, he does. As in 13 seconds, St. Clair take game two. You can see Vesh very excited with that finish. <laughs> and uh, we have a 2-0 lead in the winner finals for St. Clair. One more game and they go to grand finals.
Yeah, they needed a goal. We never said it had to be fancy. Yeah. Just kept it simple, tried and true Rocket League. And now we have ourselves in the driver's seat once again, looking for that sweep. And the Saints are looking rather pleased, but not overly excited. Of course, like big implications if they do manage to get this one to like, be sitting pretty basically Absolutely. in the winner's side of grand finals to be able to say that you're in a position to possibly even win yeah. the CRL Open. I don't want to talk too far ahead, but I'm sure these are things that are still going through their mind, whether they like to admit it or not of course. Uh, as a player. But uh, Stockton, they looked way better for Absolutely. this game number two, able to keep the Saints um, to one goal and getting the one goal for themselves. But let's see what they can do here in game number three. One more chance, Stockton, what do you got? Yeah, and Stockton's going to be playing with like absolute desperation this game. You know, it's, it's do so, or yeah. die. You know, they, they want to take the Saints down here. Obviously, both teams being very strong teams as Saints get a good start to this game, being in the Stockton University side. But there's a shot right off target. Top, she's going to be there for the follow. Nice. And almost a save by Vesh, but it's a beautiful start for Stockton. Just exactly what they wanted. And they take a 1-0 lead with 20 seconds gone in game three. Okay, that can be kind of scary now because oh, yeah. from what we've seen accidentally in the chat, it does seem like Top Cheese is very <laughs> streaky and yeah. a very emotional player. Yeah, he is. Getting the goal like this, though, could swing this the other way. If he was playing angry the last two games, this might be the time where he starts to get really confident and, he finds and one find one. these shots just like this. And that's going to put Stockton up too after the second goal here from Top Cheese. Yeah, Top Cheese is not happy they lost that first two games. You know, first one was a blowout, second game was close. Third game, Stockton is looking absolutely unstoppable. Two goals in 30 seconds. Obviously, only 30 seconds have passed. St. Clair still have time to get these goals back. But uh, it's a rough start for the Saints in this game three. Spood's going to blast it up the field. Can they find an attack here to get a quick goal back? And Pizza's not having none of it. Passes it over again. It's nice okay. team play by Stockton. But Vesh is there to counter out. Top, she gets another shot on target. Vesh is there to defend it. Deck going to look for a center but does not find it. And Pizza oh. with another dangerous chance as St. Clair are just getting run over by Stockton right now. Man, not managing to win many battles. A lot of dangerous shots on target as Deck is going to look to center the ball. And beautiful. Oh, it's just well played by Ant 8 Pizza. Stockton just looked like they're taking St. Clair apart. And it's a 3-0 lead in just one minute. All right, I guess the switch was flipped here, and now every passing play imaginable is just clicking here for Stockton University. Three mi or three goals within one minute, absolutely sending a statement, even more so than, I guess, the 2-0 that the Saints have so far in this series. And this could be number four, the way that one was bouncing. Very scary. Saints are still not out of this one, forcing Vesh to make these saves. And Saints definitely, if they want to clean this third game up and bring it to a tying point or even possibly taking it, they really need this offense to start clicking in really quickly, but they're still trying to figure out how to stop Stockton defensively, let alone get their own offense in. Yeah, and I think St. Clair just need to reset a bit mentally. Like, they're winning the series too. Oh, almost get a goal there. Close. Very good attempt by Spoods. But they're up 2-1 in the series. They're down 3-0 in the game. They need to not be too hard on themselves. You know, a couple mistakes here and there. A couple of good play by Stockton. And uh, there was a couple of goals there. It's saved by Nitrix. But hopefully they can bring back a couple of goals here in this game. Hopefully they can recuperate and play the way they have played this entire tournament. As Vesh going to look for a chance from his own goal. Doesn't find too much with it. But there is going to be Nitrix with a shot. Doesn't get it on target. It's a good save. But side of Stockton, Duck takes it over Vesh. And he's going to look to dribble it up. Spoods finds a really important contest. I think there's no goalie. Ooh! Good knock away by Vesh. And that's a goal for Spoods. One at a time is 3-1 for Stockton. <laughs> An absolute harmless looking shot. Is Vesh just is beautiful there. with that punt, basically, from Vesh. You see that in racing, you're calling for a penalty. You <laughs> see that in Rocket League, that is encouraged. Beautifully done there by Vesh to allow for that shot to go on through, taking care of the defense. There ain't no goaltender interference in this game, so that's going to be the start here for Saints to get some offensive opportunities and hopefully swing that morale back into their favor. Yeah, that one goal is big. There's still plenty of time left on the clock. Obviously, Stockton scored three goals in just one minute. Why can't St. Clair do it as they're going to have an attack going here, but Spoods get demoed yet again. Stockton has been finding these demos pretty consistently, and it's been helping them out in this game three as Deck is going to have the ball hit toward the corner. Top Cheese and Ant 8 Pizza are going to be able to have control of the ball as they find another demo, and there's a shot on target, yep. and it's a goal for Ant 8 Pizza just from their, their side randomly. No defenders for the side of St. Clair, and... It's a 4-1 lead for Stockton. Yeah, just completely 
cleaned out the Saints in this point. I don't know if the Saints were going for maybe something a little bit overly aggressive or what, but with nobody being home, that's just going to add that extra tiny little bit of insurance here for the Stockton University squad. Just passing this halfway point, of course, still, still doable here for the Saints, but this new way that Stockton's playing is definitely troublesome. Anta ate pizza, who's had basically one goal in the entire series up to this point, now getting two in this one game, so beautifully done from them. And just everybody is firing on all cylinders as Vesh looks oh, for the offensive goal. opportunity, oh, but see. immediately denied Ante Pizza. Nice save. That was a beautiful save, and it was a good attack as well. You know, the Saints might be down 4-1, but they are showing glimpses of life here. They're showing they're, they're not out of this yet. You know, a minute 45 to score three goals is quite the task. Spoos gets to them on top, geez, but they just can't seem to get anything to get started. And Stockton's had the more dangerous opportunities this game. Nitrix going to be on the attack. Can he find a good pass toward the middle? Vesh might be there for the follow-up as the ball's right above the net. There it is. Top cheese just gets a nice contest there, but it's passed back toward Vesh. There's going to be a save needed from Ant 8 Pizza, and Vesh gets taken now by oh Top my. Cheese. It's another opportunity where it's just rolling into the Saints' net, but being down 4-1, they're expected to play a bit more aggressively, look for these opportunities, look to have more people up as the ball's right above the net. Vesh now gets a nice pass. Nitrix cannot find the spoons, and Ant 8 Pizza are going to be looking for a Battle on the right side, Spoods manages to win it. Can he get anything going here? Top cheese just bounces it off the wall. Nice pass by by Vesh on target, but Deck is forced to get the save out. And now it's a shot on target for Stockton and they get a fifth goal. You know, I think St. Clair have thrown in the white flag a little bit. They're going all out attack, trying to find those goals and uh, you know, one mistake and it's a goal for Stockton. I think Saints are just gonna try and get ready for next game. They think the game, this game's over and uh, they're gonna be ready for game four. Absolutely. With 50 seconds left, I mean, it's definitely possible, but you need a lot of bounces to go your way. So I would imagine, just like you said, they are probably not necessarily checked out, but they're like thinking about what to do for the next one. And good on deck there, of course, was basically the only one that I haven't said in regards to getting on the score sheet this time by. Gets their first goal here of the series, I think. But again, just being set, uh, set up by Top Cheese, who is just been on an absolute tear here in game number three. Did not want to let Stockton go down 3-0 to our Saints and now keeping them within a fighting chance here in this series as a whole and just straight up <laughs> I mean why not <laughs> just absolutely laying down he's just chilling at this point here I would like to say I, I'd like to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's just waiting and playing goaltender but I mean from what we've seen in the chat we probably know he's a little oh, bit of extra salt in the goal. Goal for that one he's, he's and is at least going to get number two of the game here to get those Saints on the board but I think it's too low too late unfortunately yeah, he's just taking a bit of a rest, refueling for next game maybe, making sure the card isn't damaged too badly anywhere as uh, it's 5-2 <laughs> for the side of Stockton with four seconds left. Going to be going over to a game three, as a uh, game four, I apologize, as soon as this ball. Oh, we got one more for Nitrix, you know. Zero seconds left on the clock, but uh, Saints do get a couple goals back after Stockton. Definitely let the foot off the gas pedal for sure. 100%. And uh, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, going to be a <laughs> third goal for St. Clair and a good good game by Stockton managing to take that third game going to be going into game four of this winner's finals mm -hmm. St. Clair going to look to bounce back and hopefully they can yeah so what do I think about that one <laughs> I think honestly good on good on Stockton think they absolutely came and turned it around it from what seemed like a game that was just or a series that was running and snowballing out of control they basically like turn this one right around top cheese when not on the text chat has been absolutely crushing it in regards yeah. to his uh, assists and goals finding two of them I believe in that game alone and if they keep that up they are absolutely going to threat the Saints green oh roster. that's a goal but not if they get stuff oh. like that never mind player number four everyone's favorite post is going to come in clutch here for the side of Stockton I thought that was going to be the a very very quick lead here for the Saints but the post is coming in clutch that would have been such a big goal and now Vesh has to make the save as it was in a danger area for St. Clair. But Saints were off to a hot start. We'd love to see it. Almost get a goal in the opening seconds. Nitrix can be able to control the ball here. Put it towards the corner. Top, she's going to look for the contest. But Nitrix is there. Can he find the middle? No, he does not. Vesh looking for a shot on target himself. Gets two defenders to just fly through the air there. Top, she's is there for the clearance though. Spoods is there right above the net. Can he find the pass over to a teammate? Nice little bump there on the side of Spoods. Vesh is there on the pickup. Pass it towards the middle. Is there anyone for the follow up? Oh. No, but that's a shot on target. And it's dangerous for St. Clair. Wow, and just like that, they caught. 
get caught out yet again by Stockton and Top Cheese gives Stockton a 1-0 lead in game four off the winter finals. I mean, that was basically the play out of the Saints playbook before in the last series where it would all just be about the counterattack. You might be the one getting pressured, but you'll take the shot from your own corner, take it from your own crease. It does not matter. If nobody's back there to make the save, there's nothing that you can do. So again, Stockton in the driver's seat, putting themselves in the lead almost by two if that wasn't pushed aside there. But the shots are just coming in Good all save. force here. Good save there from Nitrix to keep this one within one. But Deck is still right there. No boost to make the deflection though. Ante Pizza, we know Top Cheese is there. He's just flying right into the corner apparently. Was looking for the shot, did not quite go his way. Saints now into the offensive zone. Gonna get pushed aside. Like literally just punted aside there. Nothing that they could do there and the boost seems to be running dry. So this one more than likely is gonna get cleared in a second. There it goes. Yeah, and the Saints are playing, they're playing like they're down more than one goal, even before that goal. They're playing mm -hmm. very aggressive for some reason. Having the 2-1 lead in the series, I expected them to play more defensive, how they kind of have this whole tournament. How? As Chop Cheese just randomly finds another goal, and it's a 2-0 lead for Stockton. Just seemingly out of nowhere, St. Clair are kind of falling apart. Top Cheese gets a nice redirect oh, there. Okay. Actually very well played by him. And uh, Stockton takes a commanding 2-0 lead in these last two kind of games. They're looking way stronger than the Saints. They must have figured something out. Can the Saints maybe get back to the form they were in just a little bit earlier before this match? As they're going to try and find the attack. Nitrix and Spoots gets blown up by Ant-8 Pizza. You can see Stockton really up their level of game over the past two, two games. And uh, it's, uh, it's making for a tough series for the Saints. And I could feel the sense of urgency or the nervousness coming out here from the Saints green roster this time by where I haven't necessarily felt that all weekend. The Saints aren't necessarily looking for as many individual plays. Vest just made it an attempt at one, but you can see it's just immediately getting answered. Some of that confidence that they may have had throughout the weekend it might finally be kind of starting to dwindle a little bit as things are just getting that much more difficult because Vesh, I know personally, just doesn't seem like he's going to be able to get this one out of here. Shot on target once again. Spoots is going to get a piece of it. Looking to maybe get an offensive play here. Vesh does have it. Good little pass from Spoots. Off the backboard, looking for someone, but Deck is going to be right there, ready to redirect. Shot right back on target. Actually, it goes a little bit wide, though. So. Um, Saints are looking for offensive opportunities, but Stockton hasn't really had the chance to even sweat yet. Vesh is there for the counter though in the air, but Stockton is just playing defense super solidly and they're not making any mistakes. They're making sure every 50-50 ball, there's always someone else to help up on the defense as they just have been finding goals just randomly off mistakes of St. Clair. But Vesh gets a nice touch here. Ante Pizza gets blown up, but he manages to get the clearance right before he does. As Nitrix puts it in the corner for Spoots, but Top Cheese and Deck are both there. They don't both go to challenge. Just Spoots is going to try and take it around his defender as he does. Ante Pizza gets a nice little touch. Vesh is going to take it in the air as he loves to do, but it gets taken away by him as Deck is going to have control of the ball. It's two minutes left for St. Clair, and they haven't really found any decent chances this whole game. They've kind of been on the defensive, can't put together a good string of attacks as Vesh just lobs it over, but Top Cheese is there every single time to clear it out. Ante Pizza as well. Nitrix takes out Top Cheese. Spoods with no boost. Manages to get a nice pass over to Vesh. Gets a nice touch right above the next. Nitrix, what great save. save by Top Cheese, but the danger is still there. St. Clair cannot follow up, and when the defense needs to be there, it is. But Vesh gets a touch right in front of the net, and nice. Nitrix is there to follow up. 2-1 game. It's still far from over. A minute 13 left in this game four. Okay, finally finding their opportunity, but it took, what, three or four different shooting opportunities to finally crack the armor here of Stockton. But good on the Saints to be able to put that one through. Of course, this game now within striking distance. Still a minute 10 left on the clock here. And Vesh right off the faceoff, looking to get aggressive and push it on through. So does have Spoods by his side, but the ball does end up going to Top Cheese, so they will retreat for the time being. Spoods no boost in the tank until now. Is ready for an offensive pass, but oh. Vesh does get it kind of taken away from him. That's going to be Top Cheese over in the far side looking to get this one going. Doesn't end up happening, but Ante Pizza over to Top Cheese. Is there a redirect? Maybe ever so slightly, but not enough to get it on target. Ante Pizza still there. Deck is nearby as well. Oh. Takes a shot. It's off the post. That would have absolutely put this thing, more than likely anyway, within um, <laughs> or out of reach here for the Saints. Vesh with the absolute demo on to Top Cheese, but now Spoots 
in the defensive zone here for the Saints. 30 seconds left. They need something quickly. Yeah, they need offense, and that's what they're looking for here with Spoods. Top cheese, though, in the air, does not let them get anything. Vesh is going to be there on the clearance, passing over to Spoods. 20 seconds left. Saints are in desperation mode. They're going to send all three forward to see what they can find. Spoods doesn't get the 1v1 good defense, but Vesh gets it cleared out as well, and it's going to be one more attack for the Saints. Deck is looking to finish the game with a 3 1 right here, but Ooh. eight seconds left for the Saints. They're going to have one final attack. Can't let the ball drop. Vesh is going to take it in the air, but Top Cheese is here yet again. But Spoods, can he keep it oh. up? No, he cannot, as we are going to a game five in the winners' finals. You know, St. Clair are going to try and avoid that reverse sweep, obviously losing momentum after losing the first two games. Stockton playing very well, but a very close game four, one goal game. Let's see if our Saints can bring it out in game five. Oh, absolutely. They abs this is starting to give me remnants of what was that Stockton CRL team and why I still hold this team with such high regard and their players. Like We know they're a very, very strong team. It was surprising to see them not in contention necessarily for like the CRL league play itself. So we knew, or when I, I saw them in the bracket, I knew they were going to be an absolute threat. And after game one and game two, it's like, huh, what's, <laughs> like what happened? Maybe not. What happened? Like th This is almost feeling like a completely different squad. Now, this is the squad that we know, and we have ourselves our first oh, game five of the day. Beautifully yeah. done there from Spoots, trying to get something going, but Top Cheese is right there, and anybody's game, of course, brand new one, and here we go, deck shot on oh. target, and will absolutely clutch it. Catches the Saints not in position after the solid pass from, from Ant. It just seems every game off the kickoff, Stockton are able to find that goal early. St. Clair just fall apart defensively yet again. And Saints are going to have to bring it back after a disastrous start here in Game 5. You know, try not to get reverse swept. Stockton have all that momentum after winning the last two games. Let's see if St. Clair can get this goal back. Vesh is going to be there, going to pass it over, but Top Cheese is there yet again to clear it out. It's looking dangerous for St. Clair. Nitrix takes out deck, so it's going to slow down the attack of Stockton. The Spoods is flying through the air. Can he find anything? It's good defense, but Ante pizza, but it's centered toward the middle. Deck misses it. Nitrix nice. is there to follow up, and a bit of a misplay by Stockton. It's a 1-1 game. Saints are right back in it, and now they're feeling good after that one. There we go. The passing play finally clicked here, and unfortunately there for the side of Stockton, I don't think either of them necessarily were in position to possibly make that save and got there a little bit too late so tie game just after the 30 second mark here and this if he just keeps going like this we're in for an absolute banger every single kickoff it feels like Stockton get a demo and then that's why they get a good opportunity on the mm -hmm. St. Clair goal but St. Clair are able to withstand it this time Vesh taking it up the line can he find a center and pizza is going to be on him to defend this and he does Spoods is going to be there to recenter is there going to be anyone in the middle deck going to the air Nitro is going to find a nice touch here in the air but deck finds it as well Spoods going to fly in there as top she's top she's able to take control but Spoods hits it towards the other side as Nitro is taken out by deck so he loses attacker up there as Vesh is up in the air now looking for the challenge in the middle gets it past two defenders but top Cheese is there to clear it out. Nitrix flying through the air. Top Cheese going to look for 50 50 in the air, but Spoods is there to break it out. We really need to see Spoods play amazing in this game five on the defensive end, as that he's their defensive anchor. But Deck has the ball in the air now, taking it to Nitrix and Vesh. The weird three man, but Ant gets control of the ball. Very close game here in this game five. Absolutely. Ball now sent into the Saints zone. Nitrix had a little bit of control for a second, but did get an awkward bounce going right to the other side of the field where Vesh is going to pick this one up, but it's going to be intercepted by Ante Pizza. Top Cheese lobbing it up, teeing it up almost right on the goal line. It felt Whoa. like Deck was there incoming, but someone from the Saints was right there to make the save. So it does not go anywhere for the time being. Nitrix going to meet Top Cheese up into the skies, puts this right into the Stockton zone. Vesh oh. on hot pursuit, doesn't get the ball, but absolutely demos the heck out of Ante Pizza, taking him off the field for just a moment's time. But the ball not so necessarily in a threatening zone there for Stockton, so they can still breathe easy and now Ant's ready to start this one from the defensive zone once again look for top G's but it's just kind of a bit of a neutral back and forth you can tell now how close these teams are in this matchup yeah both teams are more composed now it's is going to get a shot on target here no it's a good save by deck flew over a little bit but Vesh gets the demo, and Sinclair going to be able to start attack again. Top Cheese doesn't want to allow it. Vesh is there with the touch towards the middle. Can Spoon find this 50-50? No, he cannot. Vesh is going to be there for the control, though. Can he get a nice center here? He'll try to go for the pass, but Ante Pizza does not allow it. And Saints are going to have to drop back here. A dangerous attack here by Stockton. They cannot find anything off it. Spoods is just getting past every single defender. Manages to get the clearance as Vesh and Spoods both here on the left flank. Ante Pizza with the clearance yet again. As St. Clair just cannot get past that left side through Ante Pizza. Nitrous gets a nice little touch over top. She's going to be able to dribble a Vesh. Takes a nice one-on-one. -on -one. No. Does not manage to find it. Takes out 
and Pizza though as Deck makes a nice save, but Deck is going to be on the attack here. Someone needs to be there. Spoods is there. Another shot by Top Cheese. Is there anyone in net for St. Clair? Yes, that is. Vesh is there. Needs to win this crucial touch. It's a nice touch, oh. but a save by St. Clair as they don't allow the goal to come in. 145 left. Game five, you know, nerves are crazy. All the players are definitely nervous. It's a nice touch by Spoods. It's a one on one. Vesh, can he take it over the defender? Yes, oh! he does. And it's a 2 1 lead for St. Clair with a minute 30 left in this winner's final. Game five, trying to stop the reverse sweep. Stockton are going to need to find a goal to bring this back. Okay, that's so awkward. Who's taking that shot? That Top Cheese had the pick one and unfortunately chose wrong. Beautiful little flick there for the Saints to be able to put this one ahead. Now in the driver's seat. All pressure now onto Stockton. Can they tie this one up within a minute 30? Or is there oh. going to be a little extra insurance possibly in the pocket of the Saints? Ante Pizza is not going to want that to happen, making that initial save. But now Vesh in the offensive zone here, looking to put this one centered. There are lots of boosts on the pocket here for the oh, Saints. So Nitrix here. bouncing it off, but it actually ends up being a bit of a pass here towards deck. Nope, never mind. Spoods is up into the skies. Nitrix shot a little bit oh, wide. And a pizza going to redirect this one aside. But the Saints now are not letting this ball pass the halfway point in this last couple of, or this last minute or so. Looking good defensively, oh. but it just takes one. We know Top Cheese is the player to do it, but not this time by. Saints, maybe There's one no more net. opportunity. Is there anybody there? There's only one. Can they oh, do it? Save. Deck, though, Follow in the crease, is able to get it up high, so it goes across the crossbar instead. And the Saints, so close to getting some insurance, but they have to make sure they uh, they defend the counterattack. Absolutely. They don't want to get too complacent on the attack. You know, 30, 37 seconds away from making it to the grand finals, just have to not give up a goal. Pass it up to Vash anti pizza with a 50-50. Top Cheese is going to look for the clearance here as Stockton needs to get an attack going. The top, she's going to take it through the air as he has this whole game. But Spooz is there yet again to find it out the air. Manages to knock it out of his path. As there's going to be attack from Nightchix, maybe. No, he does not find much with it. But they keep control off the ball. Just keep it off their net, which is what St. Clair near do for 15 more seconds to hang on to this lead. Top, she's going to have a good shot on target. Oh, but he misses gosh. the net. As it's right in front of the net, Vesh able to get the clearance. Can he find the finish here on the counter attack? Spooz going to get a shot on target. And oh, just off the crossbar. Four seconds left. Stockton need to find a goal here. And it's going to be... 3-1 oh. for Saints right on the last second as they make it right into Grand Finals, avoiding the, uh, the reverse sweep. And uh, way to clutch it out for St. Clair. Top Cheese not happy with the loss, of course, but uh, well played by the Saints. Oh, I look forward to seeing that one on Twitter later. But <laughs> oh my goodness, that is the icing on the yeah. cake there for the Saints to put that one through. The 3-1 victory, hanging on to that 2-1 that first what felt like forever. Agree, yeah. And honestly, good on Stockton. They absolutely had all of the pressure in the world uh, in that last like minute or so. It was not a comfortable situation in the slightest, but solid job there for all of the Saints green roster to be able to hang on tight. And this just punched their ticket into the grand finals. Yeah, and I believe grand finals, they're going to have a little bit of a break now. They're going to have time to relax, wait for all the other games to end. And that is quite a big upper hand as they can watch those games, see what other teams mm -hmm. are doing and adjust their game plan. But adjusting their game plan is exactly what they did in that game five. You know, after falling 2-2, you know, having the 2-0 lead, having all the momentum on the other side, they changed something, they got something right, and they managed to close it out. Going to be an exciting grand finals, and hopefully mm -hmm. our Saints can take down this whole tournament. Absolutely, and of course, there is still the threat of Stockton coming back through the lower bracket. They're going to be sitting in the lower finals now, so they're going to be going up against either Algonquin, Davenport, GVSU, or Indiana, and honestly, good on Indiana. They have been playing from the lower bracket for a long time, even in yesterday, excuse me, yesterday's tournament, and they have been crushing it, bringing themselves all the way to the lower quarterfinal. so... Still a handful of teams here that can absolutely make the run. And honestly, if Stockton plays either of them, I definitely give them the favorites. But as we did kind of see here in this uh, series, we got to make sure their head's kind of in the game. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not going to lie. They look s super scary when they're playing on the field and maybe a little bit less time in chat. But um, nonetheless, though, like any thoughts for that matchup before we uh, throw this to a very, very quick break? No, I mean, I just want to see to win. As I said, you know, playing... Is playing such good, such good Rocket League all day, managing to clutch it up in that game five. You know, just excited if they can t take this final, it would be huge for all the players. And uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, absolutely. But of course, with our Saints, I did get kind of corrected as, of course, with the Saints being in the grand final, 
we do kind of have to wait for the rest of these matches yeah. to kind of catch up. So this is the perfect opportunity for anybody who needs a lunch break or something along those lines. Because this next matchup, if I'm recalling correctly, is scheduled for like 4.45, 5 o'clock. So unfortunately, we may have ourselves a bit of a two-hour break before we get into the grand final. But... If it means that our Saints are sitting pretty on winner's side of Grand Finals, we will, we will, take, we will take that one. <laughs> but with that being said, if we're good to go, we're going to take ourselves for, or excuse me, we're going to end up going to that break in just a moment's time. Uh, big thank you for everybody tuning in. Not the end of the day just yet, but we'll catch you in a couple hours.
hang on, hang on. They left. They left. What about the steam thing? I don't see no steam thing. Okay. What happens if we lose? Do we play again? If we lose, what happens if There's we lose? There's another set. Okay. Yeah. Like another best of five with Stockholm? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if you can hear us, Daniil, but uh, we're ready now. Pradars can be sent. Steam logo. All right, welcome back, Saints Nation. Thank you for sticking with us. We finally have ourselves a grand final here in the CRL Fall Open number one. It's going to be Stockton University looking to take the run back here on the St. Clair College Green Squad. And, of course, this is Dan Banner alongside Theo, the Holy One, here for the action here today as we now have, the, like I was saying, the run back, and we know Stockton are angry. Yeah, we know Stockton are angry. You know, a really close series last time around. They just played. It was a reverse sweep angle for Stockton, but they couldn't get it. And now St. Clair are going to look to get on the offensive early, trying to get a good start in this best of five grand finals. Obviously, St. Clair have gone flawless in this tournament, so they, they if they do lose, they'll be able to play another best of five against Stockholm. But hopefully, that is not needed as the play is underway in the first minute. Not too much going on. A couple saves coming out, but no clear goal opportunities as Mesh is going to be fighting in the corner. There's a good cross towards the middle, but we're able to clear it out by Spoot. I think there's going to look to reset. Mesh goes up in the air. Oh, a nice little miss there. But Top, she's going to look for the battle with Spoot. Spoot gets it up. It's just death on defense. Can there be a goal? Oh my. Spoot flies in from the wall, gets the first goal for St. Clair. Starting off the momentum correct in this grand finals after a little bit of a break. We were wondering if our players were going to stay warm, and they did clearly. Nice start for St. Clair. That's what I'd like to see. They started off warm. They made sure they ate ahead of time, because that was another thing that happens in these long tournaments. Yeah. So many people just kind of grind it out and don't take care of themselves, but our Saints are absolutely on top of that. And in the last series, those solo plays did not work in the slightest there for the Saints. Oh, However, no. Spoots does get it, and Top Cheese is going to put one on for himself as well through the snipe from the right-hand side. Coming right back with a goal off their own, a bit of a defensive breakdown by St. Clair. Nobody in that goal, and uh, Stockton are able to tie it up, and it's a 1-1 game just in under a minute, 20 seconds. Two goals scored in this game. It looks like it's going to be a high-scoring game of Rocket League. Let's see if St. Clair can bring it back. Off the kickoff, aren't able to find too much. Vesh is going to have control in the middle. Duke's going to be flying in, doesn't find anything with that. Spoods on the back line. Deck oh my. Might be getting a shot attempt off, but Spoods manages to recover just in time. Duck takes out Nitrox, but Spoods on the side. It's going to have a bit of a one on one. Good pass to Vesh, oh. but it's a great save by Top. She's able to predict that pass. Well played by both sides as the ball gets cleared out. 
to Spoot. Will he be able to find anything on this wrap? Gets a nice control of the ball, takes it over one defender, but they're able to get it back. Nitrix with a pretty simple save in the net. Deck is gonna look towards the middle, but NPC gets blown up by Spoot and a lot of battle going on. What do you think we need from our Saints to take the advantage here? I mean, the odd thing is that, like, yes, our Saints have been, like, super strong all day long, but they have been dropping games in every series for the most part here. And for our Saints to get themselves back on the board, honestly, just keep trying these passing plays, look for your opportunities. So far, it's not necessarily been one big glaring issue I've been seeing here from either side. Just, like, consistently strong Rocket League from both ends. As we just see Spoots lobbing it up, looking for the knockdown. That is going to be Nitrix up there, but it would have went a little bit wide. Duck takes care of it for a second anyway. Vestal nice. flips it over and puts the Saints in the lead just past halftime. Beautiful teamwork there by Vesh. They force out the save right away. Vesh manages to take a one-on-one, -on -one, gets it right over the defender. Beautifully played as top G's cannot defend it. 2-1 lead for St. Clair with 2.23 left in this game. They're going to look to hold on and take a lead in this grand final with one games to zero as Deck is going to be starting off the nice kickoff, but Spoots is able to save it. It's danger for Sinclair right now as they got demoed right off the start, as they so often seem to do, but it's a good save by Vesh. Doesn't allow any any opportunity to slip through. Spoots is able to clear it out. Big challenge here, but Pizza gets it into the middle of the field. Vesh with a good touch by Top Cheese, and Spoots is going to be able to clear it. Bit of a reset is going to come through. Everyone's going to get their boosts up, and uh, Dex going to go up here. Nice tricks. Goes for a challenge but misses it, which is pretty bad for St. Clair. But Spoots is there in the middle to clear it out. Nitrix is going to be on the side here. Vesh is going to go up. Both players miss it. It's a bit of nerves showing from both teams. We can see both players missing some pretty, pretty standard things for them, for their level. But Spoots is going to be able to take control of the ball again. Maybe take it to the corner here. Maybe look for a resetter. Can we Spoots find anything in the air here? It's dropping down right here, but Deck is able to clear it out. Vesh is going to go up as well, trying to put it in the middle area. Nice little demo by Spoots. Can they find anything off that? Vesh with a one-on-one. -on -one. Cannot oh. find it. Nitrix is there on the follow, but no top. Cheese is able to maneuver his way out of there. And he's able to get a nice pass going onto the Saints net. They need a bit of defense here. Spoots with a beautiful save, able to save it away. And Pisa looking for center, cannot find his boots, gets it away. And Vesh on the counter attack, great save by Dekas. I could have been going in, but Top she's able to clear it out as well. Spoots now gonna take it to the side. Now look for a cross with one minute left. St. Clair wanna hold on and keep this lead going. Vesh with a very nice attack, doesn't find too much. And uh, yeah. Yeah, Saints are finding the offense, but at the same time, Stockton ha have had a couple of sh chances for themselves as well. Some scary moments just in the, like, inside of the post of the crease for the Saints. I think oh, awkward pass crazy. through the front, but Deck was not quite in position. That was a very, very fast ball, was not quite ready for it. So it is going to go right back into the Stockton University side here. Going to be collected by Spoods, actually, off of the backboard with 30 seconds to go here. It's going to be Vesh just kind of keeping in the corner. Honestly, at this point, Saints don't need the score, right? So just stall this out as best as possible. But Top G's not going to be any wiser to it. Just going to charge on through. As we do oh. have that raid off the post. Did that actually go off a save? Great I have save. no idea, but a big save on that rebound. Holy smokes, Nitrix coming in for the absolute save. 10 seconds left. This ball's going towards the oh. net. It's going to hit the post. So this is still anybody's game if Stockton can manage to pull something out of a hat. But I don't think they're going to be able to. That is a long drive down. Nobody's nice. home. Saints are going to take the first game here in this grand final. That's absolutely massive. Good defense there by the Saints. You know, they didn't just sit back. They looked for that third goal. So they kept the pressure up. They kept the momentum up, managing to hold on to that lead that they got pretty early into the game. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead in this final. You know, they're smiling. They're feeling good. They, two more games and they do win this tournament, which would be absolutely massive for them without dropping dropping a series as uh, we are about to get into game two. What do you think Saints need to continue doing to win this game? I mean, find your counter attacks, find your opportunities, see what you can do. I know like similar, just similar way I was saying, like individual opportunities aren't working, but we're gonna oh, let you just walk in back. like that. I guess you just take it and run. <laughs> Beautifully done there from Vesh off the face off. Yeah, and those kickoff goals really hurt bad. You know, things like this shouldn't really happen at the highest level of Rocket League, but everyone makes mistake. A bit of a defensive breakout by Stock stocked down and they're not able to save that opportunity it seems to squeak in there like maybe once a game or like at least once or twice a series, a series yeah. where just such a weird little like face off or kickoff goal manages to happen and right now that's exactly what the saints need oh, and i one. can just kind of feel the vibe of stockton i i feel like they would be molding a little bit after that one especially with how close game number one is but of course still plenty of rocket league to go and we see top cheese 
just constantly oh, going for the aggression. But Deck just, the... he just completely whiffed it, and that almost turned into a breakaway the other way. Yeah, that was a really good change for Nitrix, but he just couldn't get it online. Obviously, Deck, that's a crucial miss there, but they do not get punished for it, which is very lucky oh. for the Stockton. Nice demo by Vesh on top. Jeez, has almost got a reason to go there. Spooz, nice contest in the air, not letting anything go by. And Vesh able to pick it up from under him. Gonna go for aerial attack. Can he get this to go? Beautiful moves by Vesh, oh. right off the crossbar. <laughs> oh. Into two defenders would have been an amazing goal, but Nitrix keeps the pressure up as St. Clair. Spoo's gonna look for a shot, can't find it on target. Gonna find the recontest here, maybe Nitrix and, and 8 Pizza. Vesh ma manages to get it out in the end, and the uh, Saints are gonna try and reset a little bit. Oh, that's a one on one by Nitrix. Can he win the 1v1? Good defense by Deck. Spoo's is coming in from the air, but it's knocked away. Nitrix gonna go for a little challenge, gonna put it back into the middle. Spoo's and everybody misses the okay. ball. All three players as it's going into the side of Sinclair. And 8 Pizza. What with a, a nice redirect. touch. What a <laughs> save by Spoo's right on the line. Huge clutch plays we see coming from each side. Right back to back, but St. Clair back on the offensive. Can Spoods find it? No, he misses it midair top. She's gonna look to clear it out. Vesh finds the goal and it's 2 0 for St. Clair. Just sneaks in there, steals it right, right in front of their noses. And the cluster ends, and it's gonna be Vesh who finds the opportunity after Deck and Top Cheese just cannot get into each other's way. And a little bit of an accidental assist there from Ante Pizza. But I mean, you're already moving. You can't break that fast in this game. And unfortunately, they're for Stockton. They're gonna put it into their own net for that second goal. I mean, I was going in essentially anyway, but holy moly, the luck here for Stockton is definitely not going in their way, and the Saints have just been in perfect position to capitalize on all of these, setting each other up, even through the scrappiness, and getting themselves in the right spots. Oh, another miss there by Deck. Stockton are looking a little bit sloppier the longer this game goes. You know, they started off so strong, but a couple big mistakes in the second game. The ball's over on their side. Vesh is going to look for a recenter here. can the Saints find a third goal right here? Good save by Deck. Doesn't let it go in. Spoods is there, but misses the ball. Top Cheese is going to have the counterattack now, but but it's good defense by Nitrix. Manages to catch it out as well as Vesh and Spoods. All three members ready there to knock it away. Spoods going to go up for a challenge in the air. He's going to try and get out the corner, but it's dangerous here. Deck is going to go for a 1v1. Spoods is there to defend it, and Vesh is there to clear it out. Oh, Nitrix, I apologize. Nice play by Saints. Nice pass to Spoods, but it's a save from Ant 8 Pizza. 2.30 left in this game. It's a dangerous shot by Top Cheese. Oh but my. can Saints get it out? It's right on the oh. line, but it can't go in. St. Clair playing such good defense here to knock it down. Holy smokes, that was right on the line, but the Saints are going to be able to clear this one out. We're halfway through now this second game of this best of five series, and now Nitrix going to just dump this in, dump and chase. No boost left in the tank, but all the pressure in the world. Tries to get this over to Spoods, but Ant 8 Pizza is going to take care of it. Top Cheese just basically allowing for his teammate to just drive right on through, but the initial clearing attempt, or not the clearing, but the centering attempt rather, did not quite go as planned. Top Cheese tries to make something out of it nonetheless, but it does end up just going high and in, into the corner. Very awkward spot for many players here. Nitrix is going to be able to pick it up after some decent interference here from Vesh on the attackers from the Stockton University oh, side. Save. What a miraculous save there from Spoods to get that read onto Deck. Deck has had a little bit of a quiet start here to this one, but that was his best opportunity this game for sure. Another nice save there by Vesha. Sinclair defense is what is carrying them at the moment. Stockton are just not finding any opportunities. Any opportunities they are finding is being saved away by these heroics from St. Clair. There's going to be another one-on-one -on -one here, but Vesh coming out of nowhere to knock it out. Stockton want to find a goal bad. They're up here, but Spoots finds the demo and is going to give him some time to reset. Oh, another goal. No, what oh. a save by Ant Pizza. He's there in net, not letting anything squeak by. Spoots wins the aerial battle. The ball's right in front of the net, but saves coming out from the side of Stockton and St. Clair on each side of the net. Then ball's going in here. What a save as well coming in from Vesh, not letting anything get by him. One minute left. Can St. Clair hold on to this 2-0 lead and take a 2-0 series lead in this grand finals? Vesh for looking for a cutback, doesn't find it. Now Stockton's going to be on the counterattack. It's looking dangerous for St. Nice. Clair, but it's a huge demo by Vesh. It's going to instantly shut that whole attack down to Spoods. It's going to take it through the air. Are St. Clair going to look for a third? Top Cheese manages to knock it away. And with 30 seconds left, what does Stockton need to do to come back into this game? I mean, they start setting each other up a little bit. It's just been kind of just trying to crash a net, which, yes, that does work, but it seems like the Saints have kind of gotten a read on it, and they're just making sure that everybody is within striking distance for an emergency save. Oh. And that's exactly what they did need. The hat trick coming out here from Vesh to secure this one, more than likely anyway. 22 seconds, that's a tall task. But Vesh from the assist from Spoods here with 20 seconds left to go, that should seal game two. Yeah, and Stockton are not happy about these goals. These goals are like barely squeezing in and all their chances are not going mm -hmm. in. They're gonna have to stay in it mentally. Nitrix may be looking for 
for a fourth just to put the nail in the coffin. They need one more game to win after this. Surely they're going to take this third game. Vesh decides to score <laughs> four. Why not? I think both teams have realized this game two is as close to over as it gets, and they're just getting ready for the game three that's coming up in about 13 seconds. Yeah, this time Nitrix going to set them up this time by, and that was just perfect execution once again here from the Saints. Granted, I'm sure Stockton's kind of checked out of here for yeah. uh, in regards to game two, looking towards game three, especially now that we've hit that four goal marker. But Vesh is just finding everything, and the rest of the Saints are just setting them up consistently here, and that's just been... I guess the Saints' golden ticket. But can we see number five? Maybe? It's possible. There's spoons uh, flying through the air, but I don't think we're going to get it. I think Stockton's going to let it hit. And that is game two <laughs> going over to St. Clair. Now one win away from winning the grand finals. Absolutely playing amazing. Stockton just don't look like they're in it. Like they have the opportunities. They have the good shots. But it feels like St. Clair is just there at the right place at the right time every single time. And Stockton need to really rethink what they can do to win the series. Stockton look like they've they're a team right now that are playing exhausted. Yeah. Which of course they like are. This, this is of course if they, they've had a decent amount of time to rest during I guess the waiting for the lower finals matchup to go. But even still, they may have three owed um, GVSU. But still, that's one extra game that they've had to play that the Saints now do not. And of course, who knows what they've been doing during their break if they're. Um, Exhausted, it's definitely going to be a perk here for the Saints. Oh, that's and a good one... start. Oh, gosh. Oh. But the one thing, too, out of this roster here for Stockton, it's like I know Top Cheese has plenty of experience in like tournament settings, but what about Ant and what about Deck? That I cannot remember because we see Spoots. he still looks good. Oh, what a save. Yeah, Top Cheese still looks good for the most part, but everybody else just seems to be kind of falling behind here on the side of Stockton. Yeah, and Sinclair looking really aggressive here to start a game three, getting a couple of really good chances to start the game, but Top G is going to have a 1-1 one -one here with Vesh. Vesh finds it, saves it. Dex going to look for a follow-up, but misses the net. Spoots is there to deny the rebound, and it's good, good defense by Sinclair yet again. As Vesh gets a full-court shot, can he get it off the roof? No, he can't. Good save there coming out from Stockton, but Nitrix puts it back wow. on target, and that's a 1-0 lead for Sinclair in their closing game. Can't they hold on to this lead? Oh, beautiful setup again. Vesh just knocks it off the backboard, and Nitrix, the sharp angle oh. shot, to barely put it onto the hood, actually, of deck. There's nothing you can do there again just gonna tap it into that uh, bottom left hand corner and the Saints getting the lead so early in this game could be the mental shattering play here for Stockton but still plenty of time left to try and recuperate this one and if anything I'm still kind of nervous for the Saints because when they've gone up 2-0 in these best of five series that's yeah. usually when things kind of start to fall apart yeah we nearly get ourselves into reverse sweep kind of territory and oh. then they pull it through in game four or game defense. five and that was a solid attempt for top G's, but a good demo there from Vesha stop that. And then Spoos might look for the recenter here. The ball's right in front of the net. Can oh. anyone find it? No, good defense by Stockton. But yeah, St. Clair, they need to keep this aggression up. They're keep, they're making Stockton pull out some really desperation plays and allowing their net to stay open as Spoos on Empty. the counterattack here. Oh. So two on one, but Never they mind. cannot find anything. Vesh could maybe find the recenter. No, he can't find too much, but Nitrix might look for a one-on-one -on -one in the air here. Nice little touch. Can he get the flip? Oh, good defense by Ant A Pizza, but that's still good for St. Clair. Every second that goes by is crucial for the team that's ahead. And Spoods flying through the air. Good save by Deck there. Doesn't allow anything to happen, but the ball is still in a very dangerous area as Top Cheese has to get the save out. Another recenter right oh. off the post. Cannot find anything as Spoods is back on it. They're just putting on permanently pressure. They're just on this offense, but Top is finally able to bring the ball up a little bit. Spoods going in for the aerial attack. Can he find the pass to Vesh? What a shot right off the crossbar. Doesn't go in. Night tricks. Nice try there. Vesh is going to find the recenter towards the middle, and now the ball is in Saints area. St. Clair need to be careful here not to allow any silly goals to go in. Spoods flying right across the whole arena. Can he find the goal right above the crossbar? Is there going to be any follow up from St. Clair? No, there is not. Top is looking for a shot on target. Can Vesh find the save? No, he cannot. And it's a 1-1 game with 2.42 left. There's the opportunity. Top Cheese found the breakaway and was able to beat the one-on-one -on -one here. Vesh could not quite find the angle they were looking for. The defense were not back just in time. So Stockton keeping themselves in this game. And it was probably about time too, because I was going to say that defensively, it seems like the team as a whole are still doing quite fantastic. Like every shot is being denied and a lot of time these rebounds, if you see a really close call through the crease there. but. The initial shots and the initial rebounds are getting taken care of. It's, but 
in terms of offense, it's not necessarily been anybody else but Top Cheese. So they were in a really rough spot being down that one goal. But now they've been able to get that one. Top Cheese getting them back on the board. They can breathe at least a tiny little bit easier. But with the Saints still just piling on shots and with pressure constantly in their zone, it's only a matter of time before they get one again unless they can find a counterattack. Yeah, these counterattacks have proven deadly against St. Clair. You know, when they send all those members up, it becomes dangerous. There's a shot Ooh. right on target. Can there be a follow up? And wow. it's a nice finish by Ant E. Pizza. Stockton are going to look for the reverse sweep yet again. They take the 2 1 lead in game three of this grand final. You see the nice pass off the back of the top of the net, and Ant Eight Pizza finds the finish yet again. Beautiful play there by the side of Stockton. Hey, if I commentator curse this, it just means that we're getting ourselves a more banger of a match. So it's a win-win nonetheless. But of course, our Saints trying to get back now. Anti Pizza able to get this oh, one the demo. beautifully done. Oh, oh! Off. holy smokes, that just came out of nowhere. Off the demo. It basically right in the center here. What on earth happens? So Spoods up against the demoing car. Literally wow. as it was getting demoed, it actually acted like a golf tee for Vesh to just come out and drive that thing home. And that's a huge momentum boost for the Saints there. Now 2-2. Two, two. That was just a, like, perfectly played. You take out the defender, you put it in. Seems pretty simple. It's not that simple, but they made it look simple mm -hmm. as Stockton's on the attack. Vesh is going to try to say he doesn't want the ball in his side. Deck flies in, misses it, but Spoots is there in the air to knock him out. Nitrix Vesh going to have control of the ball, and St. Clair needs to get an attack going to finish this match off. Good demo by Top Cheese. Gets the Vesh out of there. Nitrix and Spoots still able to hold on 2v3 for the time being, as Spoots is in the air, you know, holding down the defense. Oh, that gets another demo on Nitrix. That's a critical defender gone, but Vesh is there. Vesh is going to go for the counterattack on his own. Gets the bounce off the wall, but it's good defense by Deck to find it out. Spoods is going to be in. No, Nitrix in the air. Deck takes it over him. Spoods in the net now. Going to have to make a play of his own, get rid of it on his own, and he does as Nitrix is going to be fighting for it in the air here. Uh -oh. In the left, as it's right in front of the Saints net. Oh. And eight pizza gives Stockton the lead 3 2 with one minute left. Okay, the, the Saints kind of had the, the taste of victory there for a little bit, and I think it might be starting to mess with them a little bit. And that's going to be Ant 8 Pizza. His second goal of the game here for Stockton is going to put them up one with a minute or so to go. And now the Saints, let's see what they can do if they can tie this thing up. Are we going to game number four? We'll see momentarily. And maybe can Ant 8 Pizza maybe find himself a hat trick? That would be a nice way to uh, shut me up on the commentary desk after saying he has no offense this entire series. Beautifully done. But, uh, oh, that's a strong target. Yeah, that was extremely close there, but Spoots with the save. Yeah, Spoots makes the save, and now he's going to be looking dangerous on the counterattack. Can they find a shot on target here? Top Cheese gets a bit of a touch on it, but it's not the best touch. Vesh gets a shot on target. It's oh. right in front of the net. Can anyone follow up? Nitrix tries to find it, but Top Cheese is there for the defense. Once again, 30 seconds left. St. Clair really need to put all the ba all the balls in the basket. Now Vesh with a nice touch. Can Nitrix find it? No, he's going to take his time. He's going to get a nice shot on target. Can Vesh get the bounce? No, Deck gets the nice save. Spoots in the corner, managing to recenter it, but Deck is there to hit it away, and Nitrix is going to have maybe one more opportunity here with 10 seconds left but it's a good clearance by the side of Stockton. Vesh on the counter attack doesn't find anything as Deck clears it. Five seconds left they need to get the ball to the other side of the net and Nitrix misses it. Vesh puts it back in. Spoods for the, with the last second. Can he find it? No he cannot as the ball will hit the ground. Stockton take game three and extend this series. Yep now we have a series here. Stockton coming in once again I think very similarly to the last series where it looked like Saints were going to take it away in a uh, two fashion and then all of a sudden the reverse sweep was definitely potential yeah. and granted Stockton were able to take it all the way to game five where it eventually got dropped but now Saints take a step back like realize that sure the like the ball's still in your court you have still a little bit more time and in theory you have a whole extra series if you need to of course come but you want to end it now. side but no you exactly <laughs> want to end it now exactly like you said because that would be extremely draining whether you had a break or not yeah and uh, you know i think st clair looked pretty good in that game just a few mistakes on the defensive mm -hmm. end because they did score two goals but stockton may manage to find three as we are off in game four let's see if st clair can find anything off the kickoff they do not like they have a couple times this series but nitrix gonna look on the attack and pizza's gonna be able to 
Spark it out, and there's a good contest by Vesh. He's going to look for a recenter here, looking like a dangerous chance for St. Clair, but Top Cheese is able to clear it. Spoo takes it over one defender, takes it by two. N Matrix coming in, doesn't oh. find anything as there's a bit of a contest in the air. But now there's a counterattack on the side of Sockton. That was just off target. If that was on target, that would have been real danger for St. Clair. Spoo takes it over one defender. Can he? He has no boost. Can he take it over the second? Vesh maybe on the follow up, doesn't find too much. Deck is just 1v2, they're defending, but can't find too much either. And with 30 seconds left, it's looking like a pretty even game. Yeah, the Saints definitely got a break in that last offensive attempt there from Stockton. The Saints all had all three members past center and going for the aggressive play onto that ball try to get towards the net. And if, like you said, if that ball was actually on net from the side of Stockton, there would have been nobody home to try and push that one aside. But for now, still kind of stuck in the offensive zone here for, or not, rather in the defensive zone now here for St. Clair. Top Cheese was immediately about to play that ball, gets demoed off the site. Uh, Nitrix diving oh, on through. Other. Ants and Pizza are just going to, I guess, duke it out on, to on uh, top of the um, the crossbar, but they do manage to make it work nonetheless. And now their turn for an offensive opportunity in the St. Clair zone. Going to be cleared out for now. Still 0-0 with about 35 seconds left to go. Yeah, St. Clair and Stockton playing some good Rocket League, both of them right now. Not making too many mistakes. So St. Clair is finding a lot of demos every time Stockton wants to go in the offensive. But Deck is up there by himself without his team. And Pizza looking for the follow, cannot find it on target. Spoos is there to defend it just in case it was. And he's going to win this challenge. But Top G is going to look for a shot on target, doesn't find it. He's going to look for a recenter. Nitrix goes up in the air, manages to miss it, but the ball's going to come right back to him. Can Vesh find anything on this attack? Can he take it over his defender? Yes, he does. That's going to be a nice recenter, but St. Clair can't find it as Deck is there coming out of the net. And it's going to be a dangerous chance here for Stockton. He has no boost though, so Spoos wow. is going to come back and save it right off the line. But that's dangerous for St. Clair. Giving up opportunities like that. Top G is going to go for the shot, cannot find anything as Spoots clears it off the line as St. Clair regain a bit of control after a really dangerous chance. Deck goes in for the 50-50, doesn't get too much done with that as Spoots is going to look for the clearance, look for attack of their own and Pizza flies in there, doesn't find too much with it. Nitro is going to try and take it over his defender and he does, going to take it to the corner here but Deck is here yet again. Vesh going to look for the center maybe, can he find anything with it? No, it's going to be cleared, Spoots is going to pick it up, 2.30 left in this game, very close action. Maybe one goal will be all it takes for this game to end. Oh, you're absolutely right with the way this one is going, and it could be the Saints if they find themselves with a rebound here. A little bit of an awkward oh. moment through the center. Anthony Pete is going to get the better of Esh on that one, taking him off the field. And then the follow-up touch was not necessarily there, so it's going to be Top Cheese leading for Deck. Deck off the backboard, looking for Ante Pizza, but he did not get all of it. The Saints did interfere with it. Nitrix gets a piece of it. Oh. Now he hustles back and able to get in on the defense. Deck now not necessarily known for their offense so far in this series, looking for an individual play. Does not quite get past Vesh, however, but it is still all the pressure in the world here from Stockton University. Shot after shot, Spoods now making the save, a loose ball in front, but it's not gonna be on target. But Top Cheese gets bumped out of the way. It gets sent into the Stockton zone, but Ante Pizza is there to make sure it doesn't get anywhere near their net, and the pressure just keeps on going. Top Cheese, one on two, is not gonna be able to beat Nitrix, and this ball finally gets cleared out. Yeah, St. Clair, you know, not able to create too much counter pressure as Stockton is playing very well, leaving one defender behind at all times. But Vesh is going to look for the counter here. Can Nitrix find the finish? Oh. What a save by Ante Pizza, but it's still not out of the danger zone. This top cheers clears it. Great chance for St. Clair, but even better defense by Stockton University. As there's a shot, it's not on target, but Nitrix is managing there to pick it up. It's another shot off target as well. Spoos <laughs> managed to clear it off the line. So many high action plays, the ball is being right in the danger zone, but no goals are being found. One minute left in this grand file. That's a shot on target, but St. Clair is able to get back. Vesh having just enough boost to recover after a bit of a mistake. Ante Pizza going to control it in the middle, but Spooz doesn't isn't going to have any of it. Is he? He's going to try and defend him in the corner here, trying to take it up the wall, looking for a counter attack. Hits it backwards to water his teammates. Top, she's able to control it very nicely. Vesh wins the battle over there, and St. Clair going to have time to regroup, re repossess themselves as there's an attack coming out yet again. Spooz makes it pretty simple save towards the middle. It's a big 50-50, but he misses it. That shot's off target. Nitrix able to control it. Deck looking for a shot of his own, doesn't find too much with that. It's a great oh. defense by the side of St. Clair, taking out all these mid-air battles, not letting anything drop, as it's going to be 15 seconds left, and 
not many opportunities left before overtime, but hey, there could be a goal scored in zero seconds. We've seen it before. It's a dangerous mm -hmm. chance for Stockton. They don't find anything with it. Can St. Clair hold on till overtime? Maybe find a counter tie. Good shot, oh. but great defense by Nitrix and Spoos. Both ready there. Three seconds left, two seconds left. The shot's on target. It's a save by Deck. And oh, what a follow up. Can they find it? Can they find it? Vesh over here, the 1v1 takes it around. Can we get the finish? No, we don't. And we're going to overtime in this game four. Okay, holy smokes, the defense from the Saints coming in clutch right as the Stockton University offense basically goes no holds barred. Just everybody firing on oh all cylinders. Saying. And Top G's looking for the individual play. Gonna bump Spoots out of the way, shot on target, actually star. hits the crossbar. Very, very close opportunity here from Stockton. You can feel the pressure cooking here, and I'm not even on the stage. I can only imagine what the players are feeling right now with the possible tournament win right on their fingertips, but they just need one goal to seal the deal. But Stockton is constantly making the Saints oh. play defense, and who else but Top Cheese to shut me up and send us to game five. Yeah, Stockton has been playing really well this entire game, I would say, and they managed to find that breakthrough 30 seconds into overtime as we are going to be headed into game five of the grand finals. Just like last time, there we go. looking Deja for the reverse sweep. St. Clair just want to get it down in the same fashion as last time. Hopefully they can lock in for this game five and pick it up. If not, we will be having another best of five. Let's see where our Saints can get done. Yeah, absolutely insane stuff coming out of both teams here. Stockton definitely coming alive at the right possible moment. And it now feels like, I was kind of saying, it just kind of felt like the top cheese versus the world there for that first little bit, at least offensively. Now, not so much. Everybody is firing on all cylinders, offensively, defensively. Everyone is a threat. And that is when this Stockton University team is at its scariest. And let's see if they can possibly maybe put the pressure on nice and early here. Off the crossbar, Ante Pizza, of course, two goals so far in the series. Would love to Great snag saves. one more. More saves, more shots coming on through. Top is kind of stuck without boost, has the ball on his hood, could not really make a solid play out of it, but it is still going to lead with Stockton having the control in this first opening seconds. Yeah, and uh, it was a dangerous start for St. Clair, but nice save again <laughs> by Spoods. They're just playing on the back end a little bit too much. They need to get some pressure of their own. You know, they're not having too many shots on target. They're just getting hard pressured, but a bit of a misplay by Stockton and can St. Clair find the finish? No, Top Cheese is there on the defense. Nitrix is going to look for a recenter here. Can St. Clair follow up? Doesn't find too much. Oh, right oh. off the post. Besh almost scores. Would have been a huge goal for the side of St. Clair, but it doesn't go in. And the danger is still not over. The ball still in front of the Stockton net, but that was super close to a goal with four minutes left. Right over the crossbar of St. Clair now. Saints are able to defend. Besh manages to clear it out. Top Cheese is going to look for a center here, but Besh with zero boost manages to clear it out. Yet again, Spoot is going to be there for the contest. Doesn't find too much with it. Nice move by Nitrix. Tries to take it around his defender as Vesh gets it in the corner. And St. Clair going to look to pressure up Vesh with another nice touch. Is there anyone for the follow? Spoots cannot find it. Nitrix going to be there putting it in the corner. And Deck is going to recenter it for Sid Saints. As Spoots will say thank you very much. Forces out a save out of Ant H Pizza. Nitrix going to take it back in the corner. Can he get a nice recenter here? No, it's great defense by the side of Stockton. And Stockton are just playing such solid defense, not giving the Saints any shots. As Spoots gets a shot on target, but Top Cheese is there to save it yet again. Uh, another good opportunity by Vesh, but Deck is on the back end, and this is what we want to see from the Saints. We want to see them on the offensive. We want to see them get these chances as there's another center right over the crossbar, but Saints just cannot find the goal. Holy smokes, back and forth. Both of these teams finding opportunities. Oh. Shot immediately blocked. The next follow-up shot immediately blocked as well. It's going to force Vesh to go up to the wall, but no Ante boost. Pizza is going to take care of that one. May not have the boost, but he's got the ball now in the St. Clair zone. Top cheese looking for the center. Not quite going to find it. Passes it back to Deck. Deck now looking to try and go center as well, where Ant is currently hiding, as well as Top cheese. No one really truly with control as of this moment until Deck sends this thing right back in. And now that might be the opportunity that the Saints need here to clear this out, get some air, and set up for this next play. Ant's kind of stuck. He does beat two of the members of St. Clair by himself. So solid oh, job there. Danger. Deck nearly had that 50-50 gone his way. But now we have two sides or two members of Stockton both going for the shot at the same time. We can see some of that nerves, I think, starting to show up a little bit when both players want to take the shot at the same time and maybe don't have the trust that their teammate will follow up as they would oh, nice hope. Save by so now Top G's basically dumping this thing from their own zone. Gonna force a save out of the Saints. Vesh now oh, has a wide it. open net, but what no! Top G's right after getting demo. It's like, I'm still here. Don't count me out, guys. Makes a save. That was an absolutely amazing save coming out. That would have been a goal 100%. Mm -hmm. 
but with three minutes gone, a 0-0 game, you could tell that both players are nervous, obviously. It's a grand final, who wouldn't be nervous? Vesh is gonna look for the clearance here and is able to take it out of the defender. Deck cannot find it. Can he get the save? Good save by Deck. Very crucial one at that. Nitrous gets another recenter, but Deck is there uh -oh. again. Can Spoots find the 50-50? No, he cannot. Vesh is gonna try and take it to the corner. Maybe try and take it around his defender, and he does. Can he find anyone in the middle? He's looking for a pass to Nitrous, <laughs> and there it is. Beautiful assist by Vesh and a nice team goal by St. Clair to take a 1-0 lead in Game 5 up the Grand Finals. 95% of players at that point where Vesh caught the ball would have probably just dumped it around the corner. However, gathered it up, didn't even move for a couple of moments, waited for him himself to get collected as well for his teammates to start getting back there. And what a beautiful pass to set up the other Saints players. And now with that being the case, a minute 20 Vesh. left to go. The oh, pressure is still on. Stockton, what do you have left in the tank? I know you want to tie this up and reset this thing, but with the Saints being up by one, it, the tournament win is right in their grasp. Yeah, one minute away. Saints, you know, they just don't want to get too aggressive, but you don't only want to play defense. You want to keep that pressure up as Vesh takes over uh -oh. the defender, but Deck gets a nice opportunity here. Oh. Spoo's coming out of nowhere. Just 50 more seconds, all the Saints need. Nitrix goes for 50-50. Deck gonna pass it back for a shot for Top Cheese. Can Spoods save oh. it? Yes, he does. What a save by Spoods. Amazing in that goalkeeper position as Nitrix looking for the counter attack. One more goal would surely put it away, but he cannot find it. Deck with a beautiful save over there. And now St. Clair need to get back. They don't want to allow this goal. Zero, zero charge on him. Vesh is able to contest it with Top Cheese. It's in a dangerous position, but Spoods is able to head out and Pizza. 30 seconds left. They need to get desperate Stockton. They need to go bad. And there it oh. is. There's a 50-50. Spoods is going to be able to win that challenge in the air. No, he's not. The ball's right in front of the Saints net, but Spoods is having no, none of it. He's able to clear it out. It's up in front of the Saints net again, but Vesh is out there, out the air. There's a shot on target, but it's, it's saved away, and this could be a goal on the other side. Off the top for 2-0 for Vesh, and that will surely be the tournament win for St. Clair right there. Again, with these counterattacks, Nitrix finds a way to launch this thing from his own crease and finds Vesh already sky high, ready to knock that thing down. And in all reality, that should, in theory, be the tournament win here. Yep, Honestly, there yep, they're checked out. <laughs> they're done. With the timer just ticking on down, just a matter of time before we could actually say, St. Clair Saints Green are your CRL Fall Open champions. And there you go. You love to see taking it to another game five. They just want to give us some good Rocket League, I think. I think they knew they had it in the bag. They were, look, they're comfortable. They're not even celebrating, just a couple high fives. So I think they expected to win this tournament and they did so in dominant fashion, not dropping a single series. You know, they got to be ecstatic after that one. Absolutely. Tweet that out that you are a champion. <laughs> Absolutely. They may not necessarily be jumping for joy, but you can see it on their faces that they got this one and they are extremely, extremely happy about it. Wave to the camera. <laughs> Why don't you? Because everybody at home is cheering for you as well. Unless you're from Stockton, of course. But if you are from Stockton, still thank you for joining us here in the Twitch chat. Very, very well played game. And honestly, it was good to see that they didn't just kind of like fall over and die there after game two. They fought back. Very, very tough but just not enough. That fifth game just kind of ran away from them. Yeah, I mean, Stockholm played so well in all them both the series that we watched them, you know. Maybe just getting off to that rough start, if they could just play well from the beginning, it could be a completely different story, but managing to drop both of the first two games in both the series, it was not a good start for them. They managed to pick it up. They we gave us an exciting semifinals and grand finals, mm. and uh, yeah, very well played to them, but congratulations to our Saints yet again for taking the victory. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Going to be definitely carrying some momentum, maybe even into some other games later on this week, which, of course, if you are a fan of our Rocket League squads, whether it's Gold, Green, or Academy, there is still so much more to go. And, in fact, I think tomorrow we have an absolute ton. I think there's two nice games for Gold, two nice games for Green, and then an Academy game. So, absolutely tons of Rocket League still to come up, but this is a big one. CRL fall open, cannot stress it enough. This is the kind of thing that they've been trying so, so hard for across multiple semesters. Yeah. A lot of the times, like, I'm not gonna lie, we kind of have to be a little bit convinced sometimes when it comes to having a like two varsity rosters, gold and green. Like we tried it once and it was to some success, sure. But it was always one of those things like, okay, sure, gold made CRL, green got extremely close. That doesn't mean they're a bad team, though. What happened, and can they keep going? And sure enough, proving all right why this, or proving us all right rather, why this team should absolutely be a thing, and sticking together with this victory here today. 
Yeah, I mean, both our teams are amazing. You know, just a couple maybe unlucky turns for both teams not to mm. make zero. But as we could see, our green team is absolutely amazing. But with that being said, I think we're going to be wrapping it up. Mm. I've been your host, Theo, known as the Holy Juan, joined by... Joined by, of course, Mr. Danners, a.k.a. or. I did that backwards. <laughs> Dan Better, a.k.a. Mr. Danners, yeah. air producer. Shout out to you. absolutely everyone in the back for sticking around for this long broadcast. You know, we had our observers. We had everyone in the back. Absolutely thank you to everyone. Shout out to all the viewers, of course. Thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, we'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>